How is everybody? I see 13 people in here. How y'all doing today? How y'all, how y'all doing today? How is everybody? Put a message up so I can make sure that the messages are working. <laughs> I don't see a message yet. Give me a thumbs up if you have not done so. Back out for a second. You might need to back out to give a thumbs up and then you just come right back in. Shawnee Punch, hello, how are you? Brandy says, I'm here and I'm ready. Well, welcome. Sonia, how are you? Mega is here. Tina's here. Denise and Ashley, Debbie and Shannon. Brandy says, I'm so excited to make pound cake. I am too. Terrell is here. K Coffee's here. Ma Makaya? Ma I don't know what that name is. Gosh, I hate when I can, when, you know, I hate when it goes past so, past so fast and I can't read the name. I can't pronounce the name. Lottie and Bridget is here. Brenda's here. Kendall is here. Tracy and Sue and Marquetta. Uh, Mega Squad is here. Peggy, how are you? Marie, how are you? How's everybody doing? We got 34 thumbs up and 163 of you in here. I know who's in here. Back out real quick to give a thumbs up and then come back in. We're gonna have fun today. We're gonna have great topics, great conversation. We're gonna have some amazing pound cake, Gina Young style. Yes, we are. Wanda, how are you? Shannon Cox is here. Catherine, how are you? Uh, Derek Eads, how are you? Sharon and Peggy and Lottie. Listen here, I see you, Kay. Uh, Queen Love is here. Christopher Williams is here. How are you? Um, Lisa Braxton gives a thumbs up. If I um, don't mention your name, please forgive me because it's never intentionally, okay? Never intentional, okay? I just can't read all of the messages, you know, like I'm not a robot. Sometimes I wish I could read all the messages, but I, you know, I'm one person, I can't. Okay, Crystal, Derek says, I'm giving a thumbs up. J, J Mike is here, Lynn and Miss B is here. Um, Valencia, how are you? Elena Foodstar is here, Linda Bostick, VB is here, and Sue and GL. Christopher Williams, how are you? Shani or Shani. All right, lots of people. Dale Armstrong is here. Ill, I think the name is Ill. Don't quote me on that. Sharice gives love. How's everybody doing? So, what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do. We are totally going to just wait a few minutes for some more people to come in. I see you, Mary and George X, um, Pam Cunningham. Uh, what we're gonna do is we will wait for a couple more people to get in here. And um, after a few more people come in here and we match up the thumbs up with the people that's in the chat, we're gonna get started making some pound cake. Happy Saturday to everybody. I am here to prove to the world just how easy it is to make pound cake. Just when you thought you couldn't make a homemade cake or just when you thought you couldn't make a pound cake that tastes like your grandmom's cake, you were wrong. I'm gonna show you how easy it is, how much fun it is to make it and how delicious this cake is, okay? You're making one today, says Geraldine, okay. Where do you get your recipes from? Well, a lot of times, um, I get, re uh, okay, okay, I don't know if I'm getting ready to answer this right. I do get requests from you all. A lot of recipes are in here. <laughs> like um, my pound cake recipe. My grandma made this pound cake and I watched her a million times making it, you know. And so that's what I'm going to bring to you all. A memory of my grandma Lucille she would make some of the best pound cake and if you ever went over to her house and she had some pound cake you are definitely coming in there washing your hands grabbing a piece of pound cake and then before you leave grabbing another piece of pound cake but a lot of the recipes um, one thing that I, I a gift of mine is that I can remember a recipe in my head and never forget it now um, 
I'm not like that with everything in life because I'm horrible with directions. You try to send me somewhere, I'm gonna get lost. But when it comes to a recipe, I can store it in my head and just remember it like the back of my hand, you know. Um, I, I, I went to culinary art school in high school. Um, and also I started cooking at a very young age. Um, but I, I like to watch my grandmom cook. She is no longer with us anymore, and I used to like to watch my dad cook. And um, growing up, I watched cooking shows galore instead of watching Sesame Street. But cooking, when it comes to cooking, cooking is just embedded all in me, guys. Yes, it is. It's, it, it's embedded all in me. This is the gift that God has given me to share with the world, and I'm going to share it. I'm going to show you all how easy it is to cook Gina Young style stress-free. Cooking should never, ever be stressful. Tea Cakes, how are you? Silky Silver. Christopher is saying hello to Derek Eads. Uh, Derek, you made it on time. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> uh, you know, for a second there, you weren't getting the notifications. So I'm so happy and glad that you're here today. Tania, hello. I feel like I need to sneeze. I feel it coming. I feel it coming. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. God bless me. Calvin Bryant, Teresa Collins, Kay White. Oh, you haven't had a pound cake in 30 years. Oh my, are you cooking with me, Kay? If you are cooking with me, you are in for a treat. Entrepreneur, I think that was your name. Let me see what your name is. Anta, oh, oh, oh no, in, interpretation. Okay, hold on, am I saying that right? Interpretation, I, I don't know what your name is. <laughs> Pronounce to me what your name is so I can say it right. Ona Robinson, Owen Robinson, how are you, Ethel? Your grandmother taught you how to make pound cake when you was 11? Oh, wow. Yeah, I have like, I have a whole story about my grandma making pound cake and when she would make it, she would have me cream the butter and sugar and it was just like the worst thing, right? And so now that I'm a an adult, I understand why it's so important to cream the butter and sugar. But I'll tell you guys the story when we get to cooking. Let's, here's what we're gonna do. Um, let's wait another five minutes for people to come in, and then after that five minutes is up, we're gonna get started, okay? I got something on my eye. Alyssa, how are you? Shell Cook is back. Welcome back. June, hello. Saj is here. All right. What's the weather like where you all are at? It's beautiful here where we're at. Prince and Polo and Dakota. How's Dakota school going? His school is going well so far. And Prince and Polo are doing good. They are actually in their cage laying down. Um, the cage is open. They're just in there. Prince and Polo, come here. They're just in there sleeping. It's sunny in Alabama. Oh, it's hot? Okay. Gina, so many, let me see what Sonia says. It's been so many years since I had pound cake. Um, five more minutes and we'll get started. Yes, if you can let me know when that five minutes is up. I'm just talking. <laughs> hot in Canada, okay. It's hot in Memphis? Wow, Dallas is hot. 95 and 95 degrees where Alyssa is. Oh man. Saj says hello to Latricia. It's 86 degrees where Sonia is. Hot in Virginia. Oh yeah, it's so beautiful. So I'm gonna make sure that we get our flowers watered two times today. Cause I don't want them to suffer. You really can see the difference in the flowers. They kind of go limp a little bit to let you know that they need some water. Okay, yes, let me know. Four more minutes, thank you. 91 in Atlanta. Mm. 87, are you in Georgia, Miss B? Hot in Los Angeles, it's 91 in St. Louis. Wow, Brenda. Okay. <laughs> Bring the thumbs up. Oh, <laughs> so they can match with the people that's in here. We got 375 people, 203 thumbs up. If you can move the fan away from my eyes a little bit, my eyes are starting to 
water a little bit. I've been having an issue with my eyes all, all morning, guys. Y'all know me and my eyes. I have like the worst eyes. My eyes water constantly. It's a perfect day in Bermuda. Oh, Bermuda, wow. Okay, you're new to the chat and new to the channel, Valerie Heard. Welcome, Valerie. Thank you for coming in and joining us. We're going to make Pound Cake Live. Everybody, welcome Valerie Heard to Gina Young's channel. Listen here, Valerie. Uh, you are so welcome to this channel. Once you come into Gina Young's Live, you become family. It's like you, you're stuck with me. You can't get away now. Welcome, Valerie. We're going to have lots of fun today, okay? Cooking Pound Cake Live, you guys can cook right along with me during the process of cooking and showing you guys what we need to do. We're going to be talking and chatting, and then we'll sit down for a while, talk and chat while the pound cake is cooking, and afterwards we may talk for a couple hours, okay? Nice in Augusta, Georgia. Okay, Grace, how are you? Uh, Leticia says, hi. I love you too, Gwenisha. I think that's your name. <laughs> All right, beautiful kitchen. Okay, thank you so much. All right. So I think, I feel like my four minutes is almost up. Welcome, Valerie, once again. Well, you got a package. Is that your package from Amazon? Okay, make sure you, look, you drop some paper. Put that in the recycle, okay? Okay, let me see. Someone says, what's going with the pound cake? Well, Teresa, um, with the pound cake, I, um, I did state in my community post, if you wanted to slice up some beautiful strawberries, I can show you all how to macerate the strawberries and get them nice and sweet. And then we can put some Cool Whip on top of that. And we can do that. Or um, we're still going to be making a beautiful lemon glaze to put right on top of that pound cake after our pound cake cools down. Are you ready? <laughs> Is everybody ready? Bring the thumbs up. Bring the thumbs up real quick and let's get going. Bring those thumbs up up. 242 thumbs up, 432 people in here. Let's make the thumbs up, match with the people. We're gonna get started cooking Gina Young style. I couldn't be more excited. I'm getting ready to get my apron on. All right. I see, where's Prince at? Dakota, can you see where Prince is? I see Polo. Getting my apron on. There he is. I'll show you guys the dogs here in a little bit. My living room may look a little different. I did change it around a third time. <laughs> I showed you guys the other day we changed it, but then I thought, I wanna change it again. So we changed it around. So at some point of this uh, live, I'll show you guys what I did. Can't wait for the cake. Bring the thumbs up, guys. You gotta, make, you gotta make it match. I'm doing fine, Nerly. How are you? Sandra, thank you. Vicki, thank you. Mama C, hello. Raymond, how are you? All right, got my apron on. I want to put my computer over there so we can read messages. All right, if you, if you don't have your ingredients out, get ready, get all your ingredients out, okay? Um, and if you forgot <clears throat> to put your butter out at room temperature, it's okay. Go ahead and take it out now. And you want to have your, um, your eggs out as well. Did you ever know you can put uh the chat room in slower i do i do um but i honestly feel like this is just my personal opinion um derek i feel like when the chat goes into slow mode some people feel left out they you know people already complain that i can't read the comments you know read every comment um but then when you slow the mode down um it, it, it takes about 10 minutes for me to see the actual the actual comment so they're wondering so people will start to wonder like can she see my comment because she's not commenting you know 
but I can see them, but the comments come like 10 minutes late, and I'm not a fan of it. So, unless the um, comments go like too, too fast, and I really can't read them at all, that's the only way I'll slow it down. All right, let me put my computer over there. What was you saying? I was saying I did that thing. You did what? Okay, I'm going to flip the camera around. Okay, am I am I on the camera? Okay. Let's plug all my stuff. I gotta look at everything I gotta plug up. All right. Okay, okay, okay. So now I do want to talk about <clears throat> some of the ingredients that we will be using. <clears throat> We are going to be using, you can turn that down just a little bit. <clears throat> we are going to be using three cups of flour, all-purpose flour. We're going to be using three cups of granulated white sugar, three sticks of unsalted butter, but if you have salted butter, that's fine, no worries. Okay, you're going to need a pinch of salt, six large eggs, two teaspoons of baking powder, not baking soda, baking powder, okay, one and a half cups of powdered sugar for our glaze, um, a fresh lemon, and then we're gonna use the zest of that lemon, and also we're gonna use some juice from the lemon, a little bit of milk, um, and strawberries if you want, okay? So now, I wanna show you my butt pan. Here's my butt pan, okay? It doesn't, yours doesn't have to look like this. Mine just happens to have like a little design on it, okay? These can come plain without the little rivets in it, okay? But if you don't have one of these, you can use a cake pan, okay? Because not everybody has one of these. Or you could use, you may have one of these, which is a loaf pan. You could do that, okay? And you may have to use like two of them, put half the batter in here, half the batter in another one, you know, okay? So now, I'm gonna wash up my hands. I want you guys to wash your hands up. And when I come back, I want everybody to let me know if you are ready, okay? I'm gonna grab my salt out because my butter is unsalted, so I'm gonna need a pinch of salt. If I can reach it. <laughs> uh, and I can't reach it. <laughs> I'll have to get the color to reach the salt. Why did you put the salt so high? <laughs> he cleaned the cabinets out for me, guys. He put the salt way up there. Okay, so Dakota, you're going to have to grab that for me. Okay, go ahead and grab it. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Uh, it, 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 it's, it's called a bunt pan. But you can use a tube pan. This is coarse salt. I can't use that. Okay, we're going to turn the camera around just real quick. He didn't want to be in the camera because he's not dressed. So, he moved the camera. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> hey, listen. We're live here. Anything's liable to happen. Okay, let me wash my hands. It's not called a butt pan. It's B-U-N-T. So bunt. All right. I kind of, I'm washing my hands. I have actually, I feel like I've lost my voice. <clears throat> I don't know <clears throat> how I lost my voice, but my voice is gone. <laughs> so I'm trying to scream a little bit so you guys can hear me. I've probably been yelling at Dakota. <laughs> yes, I'll be you in DT. Thank you, Peaceful Living. You are absolutely right. <laughs> the milk is not for in the cake. The little bit of milk is going to be for our glaze. 
is. It is interesting that we're not using milk in the cake. Okay, so if y'all are ready, everybody in the chat, let me know right now, Gina, we're ready and we can get started. I'm gonna kind of move a couple of things around a little bit. We ready, okay. All right, so I'm gonna move some couple things over here. <clears throat> Tell me if the lighting is great. Everybody happy with the lighting? Um, in the description, I told you all um, that you could use vanilla or almond extract, or you can use the both. So if you have the both, that's great. Or if you just have one or the other, that's fine as well. Okay. So now the first thing that I want to do <clears throat> is I want to measure out three cups of flour. And I'm going to show you guys how I like to measure out my flour. I'm gonna grab a butter knife, and this is very important. When you're uh, baking something, it's very important that you get the measurements right. Because if you don't get the measurements right, what's gonna happen? Well, it, it might not turn out exactly how it's supposed to. Is it still gonna be delicious? Absolutely. So here's what we're gonna do. Once I put my, you can pour your flour into your measuring cup, or you can, you know, dip this into your into your flour. But what we're going to do, we're going to take the bottom of this knife, not the rounded part where you would cut something. We're going to take this flat part, and we're going to level the flour off like that. So I'm going to put a plate right here. because So we're going to level the flour off to make sure we have an even amount, the perfect amount measured into our cup, okay? So now I'm going to grab a bowl. Go. 
All right, let's make it nice and even. Three cups, all-purpose flour into a big bowl. Now, I don't want anybody out there, I don't want you freaking out because you don't have a stand-up mixer. If you don't have a stand-up mixer, no worries, because guess what? Um, this batter is so light and so airy and so easy to mix by hand. Or you could use a mixer that has little two beaters to it, okay? So I've made it with the beaters, you know, using the handheld mixer. I've made it by hand, perfect, the same every time, okay? So now we have our three cups of flour. I'm just gonna get my flour away from me for a second. <clears throat> Is everybody with me? <laughs> Are you with me? I set the flour aside. Everybody with me? Oh, okay, you're out shopping? Brenda, you got me on your cell phone. Okay, okay. We are here. Okay, I'm with you. Okay, great. Okay, so now we want to measure out three cups of, of sugar. Let's do the same thing with the sugar so we can get the correct measurements, okay? Now, what you're going to notice, this is very important. Don't, don't, don't go too fast. I need you to put your sugar into um, a separate bowl, okay? Don't put the sugar in with the flour because we need to um, cream our sugar and our butter together. I don't want you to mix your sugar in with the flour. Just set the flour aside for now, okay? that it's nice and even perfect cup here okay so I'm literally going to take the sugar this is one cup let's put it right into the bowl that you're going to use to cream your butter and sugar together okay which is my um, hand, uh, stand up mixer Dakota can they see the stand up mixer in the thing okay so I'm putting my one cup into my stand up mixer Let's go ahead and get the second cup measured. It makes sure you level it up, okay? Same thing with the flour. Boom, okay? There's two, and here's three. This recipe is so stinking easy. You hear me? When I tell you stinking easy, it is. Like the kids can do this, you know? They can. You can sit there. You can sit there on a stool and tell them what to do, and they'd be able to do it. All right. So, measure out our third cup. Put it into whatever bowl you're going to use. Okay, because we're going to cream the butter and the sugar. Your flour should just be setting aside for the time being. Okay. All right. Somebody tell me we're with me. Somebody say I'm with you, Gina. I'm with you. Or am I talking to myself? <laughs> Are you with me? This is a lot of sugar, but we're making a pound cake. <laughs> we're, we're, we're making a pound cake. We're having sweets today. <laughs> Are you with me? I'm with you. I'm with you. We're with you. Okay. I was thinking that is about... The sugar. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So now that we have, let me set this aside. <clears throat> okay, everybody, I'm back. So now that we have our sugar into our bowl, you want to grab your three sticks of unsalted butter. I got two, let me grab one more. two together well what I mean exactly is we're going to turn around and mix up the butter and the sugar together until they get kind of light and fluffy 
and, and, and literally like the color of the butter turns into like this beautiful pale fluffy color. And once that happens, you know that you have successfully creamed the butter and sugar. You can do it by hand. You can do it by handheld mixer. You can do it by stand-up mixer. I'm gonna use my stand-up mixer. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring that camera real close down in so you can see how fluffy the butter and the sugar should be. And, and something that my grandma always told me, remember I told you I was gonna tell you the story of what grandma would have me do. She would have me cream the butter and sugar um, in a bowl, in a wooden bowl for her using a wooden spoon. And she would say, keep creaming the butter and the sugar together until I can't hear the sugar anymore. And literally, I felt like I was doing it for hours. And I wasn't, you know, I was just, I didn't want to do it. <laughs> but when you cream the butter and sugar until it gets light and fluffy and kind of silent a little bit, you know that you're going to have a good cake, okay? So now let's go ahead and put three sticks of unsalted or salted butter right in with our sugar. Boom, okay? I just got butter all over my shirt. That's a shame. All right? <clears throat> and then we're going to mix the two together until it's creamed up, gets light and fluffy. It turns a beautiful pale color. Let's do that together. Is everybody ready to do it? Let's do it. Let's do it, let's do it. You may hear a little bit of noise. Let me wash my hands. You may hear a little tiny bit of noise because I'm gonna turn my mixer on. All right. Start off on a low setting. Let me make sure this is actually plugged in. Go ahead and plug that in for me. <clears throat> and if you're using a handheld mixer, just kind of turn it on medium and let it go. Okay? Not up on high, because you don't want to lose all your sugar. So this is kind of what everything's looking like right now. It'll look like your butter is just stuck, but it's okay. It'll eventually all come together. And you may need to even take a soft spatula like this and kind of really uh, work the sugar in. You may have to, okay? So I'm turning my speed up just like so in this manner. All right, until everything is nice and creamed. Now this process right here, you gotta have a little bit of patience, okay? And you might want to even taste it too. For some reason, every time I make a pound cake, I always go in and taste a little bit <laughs> of that cream, butter, and sugar. It just tastes good. All right? So now everything's really coming together. Come, come in real quick and take a look. Oh, yeah. See that? It's going to take some time, and you can hear it. I'm going to be quiet for a second, and you can hear the noise. It kind of sounds like sand in a bowl. But that sound will uh, quickly subside, okay? So let's just get the butter and sugar cream. Y'all let me know in the comment section how you guys are doing right now. Is everybody okay? Is everybody with me? If you're not, or if you need me to slow down, by all means, I promise you, I will slow down just for you, okay? Yes, Ron Wilson, how are you? Okay, the light is great, thank you. Um, 200 more thumbs up, get the thumbs up up. Get the thumbs up up. Let's make the thumbs up match with the people that are here in the chat with us. We're, we're in here working hard. We're in here working hard. Let's have a good time today.
the butter and sugar is doing great. What I want to do right now is I want to turn the, the um, speed up a little bit more, okay? So we can kind of move things along a little bit. All right? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so you can literally see that the butter is starting to get kind of fluffy. And like I said, it's going to turn to that pale yellow color. That's what we're looking for. You're on the right track if yours looks like this, okay? You're, you're on the right track. You can and you will do all things through Christ who strengthens you. There is nothing in this world that you can't do. Absolutely, you can do it. Just when you thought you couldn't, I'm here to show you that you can do it, okay? Yes. Thank you, Susie Q. So I'm going to turn this off. And I want to go in. C come here, guys. And I want to push some of the butter out of my whisk so I can make sure that everything's getting well incorporated with that sugar. You know, you might have to do this with your handheld beaters, too. Or if you're just using a fork, whatever you're using, you know. You may be using a spatula that you need to take the time to scrape down, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I wanna scrape the sides down in here just to make sure that everything's kind of moving along, okay? You can come on in here. Hi, look. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Arthur. Thank you, Arthur, for the super chat. Definitely appreciate it. All right, let's get the sides. Beautiful. Now look at this consistency. Look at that. If you guys can see that, that's what I want your butter and sugar to look like. Not magic, it's so easy. Let's cream it for another two to three minutes and then guess what? We can move on, okay? We can move on. And some of you might say, oh Gina, but I can still hear the sugar. Don't worry about it, okay? We, we creamed it enough, all right? So. Let's give it another two to three minutes to kind of mix together and then we'll move on to the next step. <laughs> okay, Ron, you are so funny. He said, my socks are off here already. <laughs> they, you know, that has to be like the funniest thing. That first weekend when I said that and everybody in the chat was throwing their socks off, Oh, it was the funniest thing, right? Some lady threw, <laughs> some lady threw her wig off. <laughs> so you see, I kind of really yanked the, um, the speed up. Like I said, we're going to do about two more minutes and we'll turn that off, okay? Everything's looking good. what I'm wanting. That's what I want yours to look like, okay? So I'm going to scrape this off, and then we're going to move to the next thing that we need to be doing, okay? All right, let me see here. Scraping everything off. If your sugar is popping everywhere, just turn the speed down a little bit. You know, that's something that's going to naturally happen. You know, long as all your sugar doesn't go out the bowl, you know, you're, you're, you're okay. <laughs> All right, now that I have everything nice and scraped down. Beautiful. Okay, so what we're going to do is let's bring the flour into the equation. But before 
we move on any further, I need to ask everybody, is everybody okay? How's everybody feeling? Am I leaving anybody behind? Because I definitely need to know that. Okay, somebody tell me, and I'm going to look at the messages right now. Are we okay? Can we move on? Am I going too fast? All right, let me know. Oh, uh, Nate Dog, I just want to know, can you use powdered sugar instead? You cannot, not for um, the cake batter. The powdered sugar is to make um, an icing or glaze, okay? So that is uh, um, a great question. Yeah, it is a great question, but you can't use it for the cake mix. Oh, I'll tell you what I made for dinner. I made a big old pot, of, or, or not a big old pot, I made a medium-sized pot of great northern beans. I got some ham in there, some bell peppers, onions, some garlic. I started that early this morning, and it's, it's still cooking. Okay? Hello, Gina. Okay, uh, is everybody good? Can I use a handheld or electric? Yes, you can. A handheld, you can mix it by hand. Electric, um, yes you can, absolutely you can. Okay, dry ingredients, let's do it. So now, if your butter was unsalted, if your butter was unsalted, we're gonna put a pinch of salt in the flour, okay? What's a pinch? Well, just a pinch between your fingers. You can't go wrong with it, okay? All right, I'm doing fine, Gina, how are you? So we put just a pinch of salt in with our flour because our butter was unsalted. If your butter is salted, you don't need the pinch. Okay, so now we're gonna put baking powder in to our salt and our three cups of flour. <laughs> All right. Two teaspoons of baking powder. If you didn't know, there's a little flat piece right here on the baking powder. And that's so you can level off your baking powder like we did the flour, okay? So let's put two teaspoons in. A lot of times I'll purposely go over. You see how it's kind of filled up a little bit more? I'm putting one in. I'm gonna put a second one in, okay? Baking powder, two teaspoons, all right? Now, what I need for you all to do, I need to know if everybody's okay and you're with me. 325 degrees, let's go ahead, turn our oven on 325 right now. Okay, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay, great. So now let's take a spoon or you can take a whisk. Whatever you get to first. And let's mix the baking powder and the salt in with those three cups of flour. And I know some people might be wondering right now, Gina, are you going to sift the flour? My grandma used to. But I found out if you don't, it's still as delicious, it still has a great texture, so I don't do it. Sometimes you'll find me sift it, but it doesn't need to be sifted, okay? So now, you're gonna see me really, really taking my time to get these three cups of flour, that pinch of salt, and the baking powder. Really make sure that it's well incorporated, just like so, in this manner, okay? So now that we have that nice and mixed in, Sorry guys, let's set it aside. Are you with me? If you're with me, say move on, or you say we're ready, ready to move on, or you know, we good. Somebody let me know. No, okay, Barbara, baking powder does not come in the orange box. What comes in the orange box is baking soda. Dakota, go get my baking soda out of my room. I know that sounds kind of crazy that I have baking soda in my room. Let's go ahead and explain it. Because <laughs> you guys are like, what? I use baking soda um, for my teeth. 
and it helps to whiten my teeth and brighten my teeth. So I always keep a box of baking soda. We're not using baking soda, we're using baking powder and they, both of them are level, levelers. I don't know how, you, how to say that word. They will um, help the cake to rise, but we're not using baking soda, we're using baking powder, okay? right here is dry okay so we like to call this dry that's why we have flour we have salt and baking powder and in this one we put the wet stuff and eventually we'll start to put like and we'll, we'll we're gonna start let's just do this now let's start to put in our I'm gonna grab a measuring cup we want to put in a little bit of flour at a time, can you come in and show the people? Come in, a little bit of flour at a time, okay? Just like so, but when we do that, I want you all to crack one egg, get one egg in, in this manner. One egg and a little bit of flour. And we're gonna keep doing that until we have all the eggs and all the flour in. If you're with me, let's do that together, okay? So if you can set that camera down and we can just kind of be looking down in here, they can see exactly what we're doing, okay? Just point it down in such a manner. Don't get them all busy. Nope, come in over here and point down into the thing. All right, hold on guys, we're just getting the camera fixed up for you. I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you. Can we see down in there? There you go. Okay, so we put a little bit of flour. We got one egg. Let's go down in here, and we're gonna turn this on low to mix. Some of your flour might go poof, but no worries, okay? Don't freak out on me, okay? All right, we're looking good. Turn it off. All right, but Gina, it's not mixed up. Don't freak out, you're okay. Yeah, you're okay. Just trust me here. Let's put a little bit more flour. And when I say a little bit more flour, I'm putting about uh, maybe a half a cup in here each time. Okay? Are you with me? Hold on. They, Dakota? All right. And now, let's put another egg. If you want to, you can crack your egg into a bowl. Let me go ahead and crack my egg into a separate bowl before I turn around. Because I don't want to get an eggshell, you know, I don't want to get an eggshell into my mixture. So it's best that you crack your egg into a separate bowl and then you go ahead and pour it in. All right, so there's my egg. And now we're gonna go back down and we wanna mix it again. You see a little bit of flour going everywhere, but it's okay for now, okay? Nobody freaking out on me, okay? Turn it up. And then we'll go in and we'll scrape the sides. All right, looking good? As for right now, it might be a little dry looking. But we got four more eggs to put in, so don't, don't, don't trip out on me, okay? You're doing okay. All right, we're putting more flour in. All right, and we're going to put another egg in. Oh, but listen, we're rocking and rolling. And after that last egg goes in, you're going to put your extract in. And I just have to be honest with you guys. I'm not going to measure the extract. I just like to put it in there. Just get that flavor in there. Want to be able to really smell it, okay? 
So now I'm going in with the egg. I got another half cup of flour in there. Started off with a low. Don't worry if the flour kind of jumps up a little bit. We're moving in the right direction. All right, let's do it again. Cake batter is getting kind of thick and I'm happy with that. More flour. Bear with the camera right now. We're trying to get a good angle for you all so you can see what we're doing here, okay? All right, we're going in with our third egg. Right in. Let's mix. You can do it. Yes, you can. You can and you will. Nate needs help. Okay, Nate. Let me, where are you at? Where are you at, Nate? Tell me what you need. Okay, okay, okay. Nate, if you do not have baking powder, you can use baking soda. Go ahead and use um, two teaspoons. Okay? So, if you don't have baking powder, Use tea, two teaspoons of baking soda. Um, I, I, I'm just guessing that this is your issue. I don't know how it'll turn out because I've never done that recipe using baking soda. What I'd like to say is you can try it and see how it turns out, okay? here 
I'm gonna get everything off of my beater and I'm gonna scrape down the sides to make sure all this beautiful mixture is kind of nice and um, mixed together towards the bottom, okay? So we're gonna do just that. A lot of people are saying, no milk. Yeah, I know, it's crazy, no milk. No milk, no sour cream. This is simple and it's delicious. So now, um, once you get this nice and scraped down, I'm gonna run it through one more time. Look, look at that. I have to eat that, I, I have to. <laughs> what, that was for me. Piece here. 
here to make sure that that middle piece gets nice and flowered, okay? So let's do this. Boom, boom, boom. And you kind of throw it in the middle. You see that? You might make a mess, but guess what? You can always clean your mess up. All right? So now, do a number like this. Don't worry about making a mess because we can clean it up later, okay? Keep turning it until you've got flour all over. Sorry about the noise if it's bothering anyone. So we got flour everywhere, coating everything. Okay, how simple. All right, so I'm going to go shake this um, into my trash can, and I'll be right back. Look how simple. Nice and coated, shake the excess off. Have your oven preheated 325 degrees. It's very, very important, okay? Anything I can do, you guys can do. nice and level. So it is a thick batter. I know, Gina, that's a thick batter. You bet it is. That's why it's a pound cake. It's a heavy cake. Okay? Nice. All right. Let's get it put in all sides and then we'll smooth it out. It smells good. It smells like vanilla butter and sugar. Ooh, wait, that's going to taste good. Okay, are you with me? All right, let's scrape all this beautiful goodness right into the pan. Make it level as you can without making a big old mess, okay? You may have to take a little breather because this bowl is kind of heavy, you know? <laughs> I totally understand if you need to take a break real quick, right? I'm late, but I'm here. Let's eat, says Latanya. Okay. All right. Let's do this. I can do it. You can do it. You can do all things through Christ. Okay? Let's get everything. Leave a little bit of batter in there for your kids. <laughs> I tell you what, it sure tastes good. Dakota, did it taste good? Oh, it tastes amazing. I'm waiting until you're done scraping that so I can have the bowl. Oh, you're waiting for the bowl. Okay, he's waiting on the bowl, guys. He's waiting on the bowl. My goodness. All right, so you don't want to leave too much batter in your bowl because um, a lot of the ingredients are in here. And we need those ingredients so your cake can turn out fine. 325 degrees, make sure your oven is preheating. Okay, Polo, go sit down, honey. All right. Got that? You want this or put it in the sink? Okay. 
so here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm going to do a number like this, right? And then I can scrape that off. And then that little bit right there. Mmm. 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 Ooh, it's good. Mmm. Oh, you bet it is. Okay. So now, <laughs> uh, Mason, May, May Sean said, lick the ball. <laughs> oh, you're having fun making this. Oh, that's great, Heidi. Okay, soft spatula. Let's smooth it out. Let's make it look nice and even. If you don't smooth this out to make it look even, it's going to be like this. Make it to where all sides is the same height. You don't want one side up high, one side down low, and then when you take it out the oven, it's kind of like, you know, like it looks a mess. <laughs> right? So take the time to do this. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bang this on the counter before it goes into the oven to get any um, air holes out or air bubbles, so to speak. Okay, see how I've leveled it out? Just like so in this manner. I got one high spot, so I'm gonna kinda try to fix that. Beautiful, all right? That right there, I gotta taste it again because it's so good. Ah, <laughs> yeah! Knock the air bubbles out. All right? Now, if you're with me, can everybody that's with me say I'm with you? Because what we need to do is we need to totally put this in the oven 325 degrees. Let's do it. Now, let's, let's see what the time is. The time is 513. Okay, let's get it in the oven. <laughs> let's do this. All right, bang it, bang it on the counter. In the oven we go and we pray in the name of Jesus that they turn out beautiful.
so for our glaze, you will need, <coughs> excuse me, a whisk. You're going to need a uh, lemon. <coughs> You're also going to need some powdered sugar, possibly some milk, <clears throat> because not all the time when I make the glaze do you need the, um, uh, the milk, because you might have enough lemon juice to kind of make the beautiful lemon glaze, okay? coughing around the food. Okay? 
Okay, I'm, try I'm reading the comments about the slow baking cake. <laughs> this is live. Okay, you guys are ready. All right, so now, let's go ahead and measure out one and a half cups of powdered sugar for our glaze. Okay, be careful with your powdered sugar because it can go all over the place if you're not careful. Look at that. Look at all that zest. All right, that's 
it's really going to make a difference in the taste of your icing. Okay? And like I said, I'm sorry, I said icing of your glaze. This is a glaze, this is not an icing. All right? So this is what it should look like. One and a half cups of powdered sugar, um, a half of a lemon zest. All right? Let's cut the lemon in half. All right. I tell you all five tablespoons of lemon juice for the glaze. Okay? So now there's a couple of different ways you can do this. I feel like, let me grab, let me grab some. Thank you, Tactical Box. Okay, you can put your hand out and let the lemon juice drain through your fingers, okay? When you use your hand, you can grab the um, lemon seeds, okay? That way the seeds don't get into your thing. Some may jump off and get in there like that one just did, but no worries, okay? Don't freak out on me, okay? So now squeeze it as much as you can, and you may even have a juicer. If you have a juicer, that's great. So you might see in my hand that I have some lemon seeds that we can just toss, but the juice is falling into my measuring cup, okay? And then I'm gonna do this one. Same thing. Thank you, Tactical Box. Thank you so much. <clears throat> so what I wanna do is I want to fish out any lemon seeds that may have fallen in. There's about three in there, but we'll get them out. Okay, let's get five tablespoons of lemon juice and put it right into here. If you don't have enough lemon juice, you can use a little bit of milk, okay? So this is not a measuring spoon. I'm just using a house spoon, but that'll work too, okay? There's three. Here's four. And there's five. So you see we're left with some still, okay? So, <clears throat> let's mix it around and see what happens. If you don't have enough, you can always add more. Or if you don't want to juice more lemon, just use a little bit of milk, okay? This is gonna give you the perfect amount of glaze that we're going to pour onto our cake. It might look kind of funky right now, right? That's because you need more liquid. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how much milk I'm going to put in instead of putting more lemon in. Because that lemon flavor is really permeating all through here right now. Let's grab a little bit of milk. on our cake when it comes out, okay? Look at this. This is what a glaze is supposed to look like, and it has those little bits of lemon zest going all through. Look at that. <laughs> oh yeah, I know what I need to do. I need to get a fork, because I want you all to see the consistency and how it kind of like um, slides off the fork, okay? Look at that. That right there is what you're wanting. Come on in, in close to the bowl. Come and look at the bowl. This is what you call glaze. What's the clumps in there? Where are the clumps is just lemon zest. Okay, look at that. Oh, and you know what you can do right now? Go ahead and taste it and see how happy you are with that flavor. Mm. Mm. Listen, 
this right here. This is the stuff. Oh, it's so good. Okay? So now what we're gonna do, I'm telling you, this is so flavorful. You really taste that lemon. It is just so good. I'm gonna put some plastic wrap. If you got, um, you know, um, aluminum foil, whatever you have, which you can close this up nice and tight. Let's close it and set it on the counter aside because we're gonna use this after our cake cools down. I gotta taste this again. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, it's good. We got that beautiful lemon. All right, I'm leaving that in there because we're gonna need that again. If you happen to come back and this needs to be um, needs to be a little bit loosened up a little bit more, just gonna put a little bit more lemon juice or a little bit more milk. This right here, done. Cake, any of it, okay? All right, everybody's moving in the right track. Let's set this aside for the time being. I'm going to save my little bit of lemon juice because I might use it later.
of your cake and it's almost as if we were having strawberry shortcake. So those of you that bought strawberries, we can do that, okay? Okay, Lorraine is asking Nate, what did you do to your cake batter? <laughs> can you shout out my auntie Susie, Suzanne Colony? She loves you but doesn't know how to use the internet. I know she's watching. Well, Suzanne Colony, Connolly, Suzanne Connolly. Hey, how are you? Thank you for watching. Maybe you can get Gabrielle to show you how to use the internet. That way, you can come in and chat with us, cook with us. Okay? I would love to have you on. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. Welcome, Suzanne Conley. Everybody, welcome Suzanne Conley to the chat. <laughs> yes. Okay, Mary G. Okay, let me see. I'm not sure what's happening. Love your head scarf. Thank you. You know, today was just one of those days where my hair was kind of curly. You know, somewhat curly, but not really curly. I couldn't do anything with it. So I just said, let me throw in a scarf. I, I, you know, I, I knew what color shirt I was going to wear. I had three white shirts out that I wanted to potentially wear. And then I said, know what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw a scarf on my head. <laughs> Thank you, Susie Q. I love you guys. How's everybody doing? So what we're doing right now is we're cutting up some strawberries so we can macerate them. And I cannot wait to show you guys, like literally, I would say about a good half an hour, you're gonna see all this lovely juice that has formed in the bottom of our bowl once we get our sugar and a little tiny bit of vanilla in with our strawberries, okay? It's like a miracle happens. Of course, like I said, the sugar does dissolve, which when it dissolves, it does turn liquefied. You know, you got a little tiny bit of vanilla extract and then the juice that comes from the strawberries. Okay, Dakota, I need that little uh, clear bowl if you can wash it for me. Okay. Oh, thank you so much, Derek. Oh, MSG, you did. So, um, I, I think you're saying you're using strawberries. Okay. All right, so we got our cake cooking in the oven. And um, we got strawberries cut. I showed you guys how to make the icing. Can somebody let me know if you are, I need the small bowl. If you, oh, no. I, uh, okay, here. I'll use that. Oh, um, yeah. Uh, I need a bigger, I need something bigger. <laughs> I'm all over the place. Oh, I like chocolate covered strawberries. I always, there's never a thing, um, I was going to say Thanksgiving. There's never a um, Valentine's Day that goes by that I don't make chocolate covered strawberries. I totally love them. You have to wash that, okay? But 
they will eat hog moths. I prefer hog moths. I love hog moths. I, I like hog moths. Turn that water off. I like hog moths more than I do chitlins. Look at this. Get them in there. <laughs> Get them in there. Listen, everything Gina Young does in this kitchen, going to be stress-free, doggone it, it's going to taste good. You hear me? It, it will. It is easy. Can, listen, everybody that cooked with me today, can you tell me if this was easy today to you all? You're going to have to do this. Get all that stuff. Can you guys tell me if this was easy? The cleaning is much when you go to clean, you know, chitlins. It, it's a lot to it. Where is my vanilla? Is my vanilla over there? Huh? Oh, I got it. So, I'm going to put just a cap full. Because this is strawberries, you need a whole lot. Strawberries has a great flavor in itself. But let's use a cap full of vanilla. Just a cap full. Boom. That's going to give us so much brightness, like a great flavor, okay? All right. I'm going to put between a half cup, maybe a little over a half cup, okay? Right on top. That's it. All right. We're going to stir it around. And then I'm going to come sit at the other island. I'm going to put that camera right in front of my face. We can answer questions. We can talk about a few things. We can chat until all of our cakes is done. So now, right now, this looks kind of funky, right? I mean, we got dried sugar all over these strawberries, but just wait. When I come back and show you what happens, it's like a miracle happens, okay? So let's cover it and set it aside. Because like I said, remember I told you all there's gonna be a beautiful juice that starts to form down in here. I'll show you all this in about a half an hour. That's not a cup. No, man, you know that's not a cup. I didn't put a cup in there. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> Baked steak. I absolutely can. That's one thing. It's rare that you guys will ask me how to make something that I don't already have a video for. I never did a video on how to bake steak. Absolutely I can. I'll do that this week coming, okay? I, I'd love to do it. Baked steak really is something that I normally don't do. Uh, you know, I fry mine, I grill it, but let's do one sometime this week. Let's get this aside. Come in. If you guys can come in close, you can um, see my um, Great Northern beans. Come on over this way. Let's look at the Great Northern beans. All right. So these babies right here have been cooking since early this morning. Look at that. I mean, that's flavor lamb, right? I do want to put some bell peppers and onions in. Um, I did put bell peppers and onions in earlier, but I like to put them in at the last minute also. So those, uh, those ones that I put in at the last minute can stay nice and vibrant and have a little bit of texture. Look at that. I got some cornbread on the side and some white rice. That is what's going to be for dinner. Everybody loves to know what we're having for dinner. That's what we're having for dinner. Good old Great Northern Beans Gina Young style. All right, I'm coming around right now.
You got that, please. Okay, here I am. All right, hold on. Let me set my kick, my uh, messages up. To, te to show you guys um, the mar macerated strawberries and how they form a beautiful juice, okay? <laughs> you like the way I redecorated? Thank you. Yeah, I'll definitely show you guys because I switched it up again. But you see all the room that we have now? <laughs> like there's so much room now, right? So I think that leaves more room for a piece of furniture to go right here. I just wanted to do something a little different. Fall is coming around, you know, the different change in season. So I want to switch some things up. <clears throat> Lady Magnolia, you made the cake, okay? I wanted to dip some cornbread in that pot. I know, I have cornbread. Thank you, Sonia. I love fall too, yeah. I don't like fall more than I do the summer though. I just love the summer because summer just makes me think about water. It just makes me wanna get in water. It, it, I just, I just, I love everything about summer. Ah, okay, okay, Sonia, that's great. Okay, listen. You guys just asked me, do you eat pig feet? Listen, okay. So thank you, Valencia. Okay, so we 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 gotta talk about it. I've told y'all before. I've told y'all before. Here's the thing, here's how it goes when, when it comes to me and pig feet. Now, pig feet can be delicious. They can. I've ate them before. But I don't enjoy the fact that, you said talk about it, I don't enjoy the fact that there are toes on the pig feet. I, I'm not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of the toes on the pig feet. <laughs> it kind of freaks me out a little bit. So, you know, you're eating them, and you know how you suck on them a little bit and get all the goodies off. Thank you, Rene. Re Re um, you know, I mean, it's like, like a chicken bone. You suck in and you're eating that thing. But then when you get to, like, there's digits. There's toes. I don't want to bite on the toe bone. Oh, I just got a shield. It went all down this side. I don't want to eat that part. So... I'm so serious. Um, so, and, and I can actually say they taste good. They do taste good. They got that gelatinous a little bit. <laughs> Renee, Renee P says, nope. Um, <laughs> a lot of people are saying, me neither. Um, if you could like totally like cut the pig's feet toes off right here, and then we could just eat like this and this, like the ankle down. I'm okay with that. I mean, I chow down on it. But just the thought of them toes being there. I've seen people do this, like with those pig feet. Like, like let's just say these are the toes. They're like, oh, that right there, it kills me. It kills me. You know, them toes, them, them pig feet toes, no thanks. No, when I just did that, I, I had lemon juice all over my fingers. <laughs> It was sour. <laughs> yeah, like I said, they, they good. But when you get to thinking about <laughs> when you get to thinking about the big toes on there, oh Lord. Mm -mm. <laughs> she said bacon and pork chops is all I want. <laughs> mm, now Michon. Hopefully I'm saying your name right. 
not a fan of the cow stomach, which is a tripe. I tried it, and I tried it in menudo. I purchased some menudo that came in the can. I always wanted to try it, so one day I tried it, and it has like, um, like it's smooth at the bottom, and then it has like these little things that are moving at the top. I, I, it's not for me. <laughs> it's not for me, but one thing I do like is the pork stomach, which is hog mogs. I go nuts over it. I go nuts over it. I love it. Now, Drew. Drew said the cow stomach, they like the cow stomach. My husband tells me stories about his grandmom made cow stomach. Oh, no, not cow stomach, cow tongue. I've never had tongue, I don't believe. But I hear that it is good. Yeah, Christopher, no thanks. <laughs> Somebody just said, I don't want feet anything. <laughs> Stop with the chat. Oh, my goodness. I can't, Nate, I can't. I cannot stop. I have to have it. I have to moisturize my lips. If I don't, they're going to be dry. I'm going to be scratching y'all with these lips if I don't use this. Is there a meat on chicken feet? Well, uh, people do eat chicken feet. People eat it. So, you know, go figure. I've seen Dakota just said he's seen them at Kroger's. Cow tongue. Um, yeah, people eat it. And, and sometimes, um, don't quote me on this, I think Mexican put cow tongue, cow tongue is supposed to be good, put cow tongue in burritos, in burritos. So, if you ever went like to those stands that, you know, and those stands are the best. You know, you find them like on the side of the street or in a parking lot or something. You always say, and we always say, ooh, let's go get a taco there. They got the best tacos. They might have, or I don't know. I've heard, and it might not be true. I don't know. I don't want to say that's true and it ain't true. But I've heard that that's the tongue meat. See, Valencia said cow tongue is delicious. <laughs> and G. Hugh just says, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. <laughs> okay, Derek said, no chicken feet or cow tongue for me, okay? <laughs> uh, Jews eat cow tongue. Yeah, you know, a lot of people do. Have you tried goat placenta? I have not. I have not. Ooh, wee. Now listen, um, who was that? I think it was Nate. Nate, where are you? Oh yeah, have you tried, he said, have you tried goat? Did you say goat placenta? No, I, I wouldn't ever want to try a placenta because I've seen my placenta when I've had kids. And no, <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> no, no thanks. You said my uncle gets cow tongue. Is that right? Yeah, a lot of people do. So I haven't frowned down on cow tongue because I heard that it's good. And um, it's not like a, I don't know, I don't know. It's not like a placenta, it's a tongue, right? So, <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> you, I, guess, I guess some things don't knock it till you try it, you know? Oh, okay, Patricia says, I love it with salsa. Ooh, wow. Okay. Yeah, and, and see, I am the person that will always say, I will always be the person that will always say, don't knock something until you try it. So, like I said, I tried to try it. It's not for me. I've tried the pig feet. I'll eat them, but just the thought and the look at the toes, that's just a little too much for me. Uh, Okay, now, a lot of people says pigtails and their peas and beans. I've heard that there are a lot of people, um, somebody that I like to watch, they purchase pigtails all the time. I've never had it. I would definitely try it before I knocked it. 
Drew says, it's tasty, Derek. <laughs> Uh-oh, Lakita, Lakita, Latika said, pig feet with hot sauce. <laughs> Go to Santa on a bed of rice. It's very tasty. Is that right? Man, that's kind of crazy, though, but yeah. I like pigtails and beans. A lot of people do. <laughs> Nicole said, ooh, we guys, no. She said, not for her. Christopher said, Lord, help us. <laughs> now, so no alligator or snakes. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Xander says, I don't like to eat anything that's going to taste me. <laughs> He said, I don't want to eat anything that's going to taste me. <laughs> oxtails are good. You know, I, I, oxtails are good. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Let's see. I knocked my family out cooking. Oh, let me see. So, Nay Fam is saying, I knocked my family out cooking your biscuit recipe. Oh, that's great. Listen, I actually have another um, biscuit recipe that only has like, I think it's just, I wanna say it's two or three ingredients. And those had to be the most beautiful biscuits ever. They were so thick and fluffy and moist. You know, it's hard to get a, a beautiful moist biscuit, but I, I'll be showing you guys that recipe. Cause everybody loves a good breakfast biscuit, right? You think your cake is burning? Oh my goodness. I don't know what te what temperature did you put your cake on? Thank you, Jackie. You're making me wanting to check my cake. My goodness. Open it up. Just lightly. Okay, lift it. Close it. Close it. Close it. Thank you. <laughs> He's gonna open it and leave it open. Do you guys remember your parents saying, don't open the oven, don't jump and stomp on the floor? because they would say that their cake would fall. <laughs> Do you guys remember that? It's been an hour. Oh, thank you, Shell. Did you ever eat? I never had the alley. Some of y'all eating so, some, some foul stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, the cake should be smelling good. I'm gonna tell you guys the perfect time to take it out, okay? Now, deer meat is good. Um, now, my dad, he would go uh, deer hunting in the winter when I was little, and um, he would always bring home a deer, and um, my cousin Aaron would butcher the, uh, the deer. And they would turn it into ground deer, deer steak, you know, like, uh, you, know how, you know how there's beef stew? He would turn it into like pieces like that. And just to eat and, and, and like deer meat, summer sausage. I really like it. I really like it. I've tasted it and I do like it. You, you, I think you have to have an acquired taste for deer though. Let, let me see. I don't like raccoon. Ooh, no thanks, Christopher. I got, okay, so Catherine says she got her new push mower put it together and cut some of the yard. Oh, Catherine, that's great. And you know what? That's great exercise too. Gotta slow cook, let me see. Uh-oh, hold on. Gotta slow cook venison. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. I've heard that there are people that do eat raccoon, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm not one of those people. <laughs> I've heard a rat. My grandma, she made rabbit before. I remember tasting it. I remember even the side that she made with it. She made some creamed corn to go along with it. And she made rabbit. And she had it smothering in gravy. I feel like I can remember my dad eating it. I feel like I can remember. I kind of like have a vague memory of this. I feel like when I tasted it, it had bones everywhere. Rabbit's not for me. I don't want a whole lot of bones. Or was it squirrel? <laughs> I don't know if it was.
was rabbit or squirrel? I'll have to ask my dad. I, I can't remember. It was gamey, though. Mama was so, okay, let me see. Ron says, okay, I need to charge her. Hold on, guys. Let, let me plug this up. I need you to plug this up. Ron says, Ron, can you say what you said your mom would do again? Because I totally missed your message. My camera went out. <clears throat> Plug that in to where, tell your dad I need a charger that's going to work. Tell him my charger don't work no more. Hurry. Plug it in. Rabbit has more bones, so maybe it was that. Tell your dad I need a new charger because this is not working. What? I don't have a charger. What are you doing? I heard that rabbit taste. Rabbit does not taste like chicken. Rabbit and gravy is delicious, says Valencia. Oh my goodness. How is that going to fit? You know, you think, go tell your dad what I said. I'm country, but it's too, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, uh, Drew, Drew said, poor furry animal. <laughs> Samuel said, what rabbit? <laughs> I had alligator, alligator. let's see. Uh, oh, he said his mom would soak the deer meat in a salt water solution in the fridge for days, changing the water Oh, that's interesting, Ron. That is interesting. Use Louisiana, uh, you said us Louisiana people eat different. Y'all come out here and fall in love with some, with some deer. <laughs> oh, Drew said, I do like venison. Okay. Okay, hold on. Let me um, put this on the charger, y'all. Hold on now. We're going to lose connection real quick. Hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Nate Dog, is it? Oh, okay, somebody said, Nate Dog, is your cake rising? I'd love to know too. Okay, did you plug that in? Huh? Did you plug that in? Yeah, I plugged that. Okay, let me see. My cake is not rising. I use baking soda. I guess I'll try again when I get some baking powder. Okay, so this is Tyrese. Tyrese is saying his cake is not rising. Um, he used baking soda, and he says he guess he'll try again with baking powder. Okay, so we do hear um, from one person that used the baking soda that they are saying that it's not rising. So I would love to hear from Nate Dog if he can let us know. Also, because I'm curious. Yeah, deer meat is definitely acquired taste. Okay, slowly but surely. Yes, but it's not browning all the way. Okay, okay. It takes a while to get brown. It takes a while to get brown. Mine's is kind of semi-brown right now. Okay, so we're moving in the right direction. Tyrese, make sure when you get some baking powder that it's fresh, not to make sure it rises. Okay, how many loaf pans do I need since I don't have a bunt pan? For the amount of mixture, I have not put the mixture into a loaf pan. What I would suggest you would do is if you can fill the half of one loaf pan and then put the rest of the mixture into the other half because you got to leave room for it to rise. So you don't want to fill it all the way and then it flows over. So I would say two. And let's just say you go to fill it up and you use all your batter for half of a thing. Then you would use one. Okay? Can I go ahead and add strawberries now? The strawberries are not going to go into the batter. The strawberries are going to go 
on the cake after we slice it. So we're gonna slice it. We're gonna put strawberries on the top of our slice, and spray some Cool Whip on it after the cake is done, okay? Your father had a mini farm and would eat rabbits and chickens every now and then, okay? Gina, do you know how to make a 30-day cake? Only two people in our family. Um, I have heard of it. Okay, uh, yeah, Nate, yep. So when I, um, that's why I put the, sh the, the sugar and the vanilla on the strawberries after we cut them. And when the cake is sliced, we're gonna put some strawberries on top of our slice, cool whip on top of that. How do you make the pound cake? You missed it. Well, okay, let me see. Melanie, what you're gonna want to do is go back and watch the replay or watch one of my videos for how to make pound cake, okay? Helen, how are you? Welcome back. Friendship cake, I have heard of it. Um, there was actually, my dad, um, when I was younger, somebody in my family, they were making a, like it was like a bread and they had like a yeast bread starter. I wish I could remember, like I vaguely remember what they was doing, but it was kind of like, um, it was like they had a yeast batter, and I don't know if they were making a bread. I wish I could remember what it was. I'll have to ask my dad. You forgot to get confectioner's sugar, so you use regular sugar and cornstarch in a blender, and voila, powdered sugar. Okay, I've never heard of that. Oh my goodness, okay. I've never heard of that. It's hard to find a black forest cake. Let me see. It's getting, I'm getting impatient. I'm going to take it out. Why are you taking it out? <laughs> yes, you need a starter to start with yours. Yeah. Your granny made a seven up cake. Oh, that sounds good. My mother used to make a 30 day cake, also it was delicious. Oh Gloria, that sounds good. You said I wanna try it. Did you check to see if it's done? Let me check my cake. I'm gonna check my cake and see where it's at right about now. And then I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna, I'll be right back in two seconds to let you guys know where my cake is at and what it's looking like, okay? I'll be right back. something just to show you that the cake is not done so if you put something into the cake and you see wet batter like this let's see if I can put it onto my finger okay can you see that the batter is wet that batter right there hopefully you can see it it might not be clear that's wet batter okay so I poke this inside of the cake. That means our cake's not done. That's why it's still light brown, okay? So with um, that cake still not being done inside, you need to wait for it to continue to cook, okay? I'm gonna let you guys know when mine's is done. It'll be puffed up, it'll be a little bit golden brown, you know, and then when you go in and you stick something in, whether it's a fork, a knife, um, a uh, toothpick, and you put it in there and you bring it out and it's nice and clean and there's nothing on it, there's no cakey pieces on it, that's when your cake is done, okay? You gotta wait till it's done, okay? 
Yeah, okay, you said you see it? Okay, great. All right, I'm happy with that. I need to taste test the cake, guys. <laughs> that And that is a Kenyatta Jackson. I need to taste test your cake. <laughs> okay. All right, I made the Sloppy Joe last night, and it was delicious. No more manwich for me. <laughs> let me see, let me see, let me see. No more manwich for me. Thanks for the recipe. Yeah, be patient, Nate. Amanda says hello. Raymond says patience there. Not done yet. Be patient. Oh, he said, okay, I'll wait. <laughs> All right, I'm just moving some messages here. <laughs> All right, I ate half the straw. Oh my goodness, Mildred said I ate half the strawberries already. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, you see me vocalizing a little. You know, guys, listen, it was so funny. Remember I told you guys, I, I had y'all cracking up. Remember I said um, how when I was younger, I thought that singing was my gift, you know, and I love to sing and I've always sang, you know. Uh, and remember I told y'all the time that I had my braces, you know, I had my braces on for uh, like nine months. And, I've, and it's hard to sing with braces on. And um, hold, hold on one second, guys. Hold on, hold on one second. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Please remind me what the heck I'm saying. Oh, talk about my braces. Hold on. Oh, listen, so I had the braces on for nine stinking months, and for nine months, I didn't sing a whole lot. I mean, I sung, but I felt like I, I sounded like crap because it's hard to sing when you got a mouthful of porcelain uh, braces. So um, I told you guys, I said, so did I lose my singing voice? And everybody was like, y'all was laughing at me so hard, but I... <laughs> Oh, hold on, guys. But as soon as I got those braces off, I sang like the wind blows, right? And I've been singing ever since. I've been so glad to have those braces off. And I can honestly sit here and say I didn't lose my singing voice. Remember, I mean, like, I was totally worried about it, right? And you guys was telling me, yeah, Gina, I heard that. If you don't use it, you're going to lose it. Y'all had me freaked out. I told my husband, I said, honey, I think I lost my singing voice. I ain't sang for nine months with these braces. I think I lost my singing voice. And he's like, well sing for me. I tried to sing with them braces and I sound like I was I was <laughs> sound like I was breaking glass, right? But <laughs> I was singing yesterday and I said, "Yep. She still got it. She still got it." <laughs> no, I'm not going to sing for you. <laughs> not right now. <laughs> I, for some reason, I I for some reason, I get shy when it's time to sing. I do. I do. I get shy when it's time to sing. Uh, you got, look at Samuel. You got this, Gina. <laughs> we, we, um, hold on, guys. Let me, let me look at something. Hold on. check your check your cake make sure it's looking good if you do check your cake you kind of open that oven real quick close that baby real quick okay because you don't want to let too much 
of the heat out. You know, you let the heat out and then, you know, the oven temperature kind of messes up a little bit. Have you ever sang karaoke before? Um, at home, like with my family, yes, but not going out. I, I don't go to like clubs and bars and things like that. We don't go to clubs and bars. So, but at home with my family, absolutely. I can, oh, let me see, somebody's saying something so funny. Mike Lewis says, Gina, can you sing uh, whistle notes? Um, not really. <laughs> I would say not really. Uh oh, Raymond says, I'm not singing no song because I know it'll sound awful. <laughs> my dad, well, my dad would be talking about somebody singing, and, and he would be talking about whether they can sing or not. He would say, Yeah, he he can or, or she can hold a note in their in her in her pocket. <laughs> She can hold a note in her pocket. <laughs> that would be saying she can sing, you know. <laughs> Have you ever went to a club in the past? I, I don't go to clubs. It's not what I, it's, clubs is not what I do at all. I don't have any interest in going to clubs. Like I said, I love to sing. I love to dance. Me and my husband dance all the time. We slow dance all the time. Like on the weekends when we have special time together. Um, I love to, to dance and sing. So, you know, besides cooking, that's something else that I totally love to do. Like, you know how I'll tell you guys, um, is that your voice in the intro? No, it's not. Uh, yes, the cha-cha, I can do the cha-cha. Um, uh, you said, is that my voice in the intro? No, it's not. Um, I remember when I first started the channel, um, people were saying, you should be singing on your channel, right? You should be singing. But singing on the channel is a little difficult because like you wouldn't be able to possibly monetize. You can't monetize songs and stuff and music and copyright reasons and all that. So I can I stay away from it, you know. So I would love to give you a note. <laughs> oh, I wanna show you guys my strawberries. Remember I told you that those strawberries will macerate and um, how beautiful they get and real soft. I gotta show you. Do you wanna see? I'm only gonna show you if you wanna see. I'm not even gonna take the breath to get up and show you the strawberries if you don't wanna see them. What's your favorite slow jam? Okay, let me think of it. Let me see. Gina, you can't do covers on YouTube anymore. Um, you, you can. Let me see. Gina, you were shy from the camera. Look at you now. I know. I know. I was a nervous wreck to be in the camera. Um, do y'all want to see? Okay, you're saying yes. You want to see the strawberries? What's your favorite? Okay, let me think of my favorite slow jam real quick. Um, okay, people are saying yes and okay to the strawberries. Let's do the strawberries. And I really have to think, because I don't want to give you a song that I don't like. I got to give you a song that I totally love. Um, I really got to think hard. Because there's so many of them, but I don't want to say the wrong one. Hold on. Be right. Hold on, guys. your favorite song you know all right so let me show you look at this so can you guys see that I can't really turn it too much because I don't want my lip to come out look at this that right there is macerated strawberries it has a gorgeous sauce 
We put the vanilla in the sugar and listen here. Oh, my husband loves these strawberries on his pound cake. I'm going to give you guys some. Look how glossy they are. Mmm. See, because listen, they got a sweet taste. Oh, that's so good. And then they got like a sour taste. Let your pound cake cook. It still has to cook, okay? Mm. All right. I'm still thinking of my song. I'm still thinking of my song. Give me a second, guys. are done so I'm very excited about that right where's my messages okay there you are it's gonna be good uh, Christopher yes it is I <laughs> got my holy king says keep sweat nobody <laughs> okay let me see the people want to hear you sing that's not gonna happen today you're gonna see me cook today um all right it's so hard to think. Oh, I know what I was going to tell y'all. You know how when I be on live and um, and I'm on here forever and a day and my husband will say, come on, let's go for a ride. So we go for a ride. We blast the music in the car and we are just singing and banging out to all of the favorite, you know, like our favorite music that we love. And I am just singing until my heart is content. I'm singing loud. <laughs> but I make sure if we come to a stop sign or something, <laughs> a light, that I'm not singing so loud because I don't want people to hear me singing, you know. But that's something that I love to do. Oh, so let me think of the song. What song? There's so many of them. Um... <laughs> no, I don't do, I don't want any cash apps. No, thank you. You know, you know, guys, I don't do cash app. I don't. I don't do it. I don't send cash apps. I don't accept cash apps. It's just not something that I do. Um, let me see. It'll come to me. Uh, oh, uh, let's see. Because I have a couple of songs in mind. <laughs> he said it's the devil. Yeah, uh, yeah, no thanks. I don't want it. <laughs> My holy king said tenderoni. Let's see. They called me earlier that eating was the true concern calls over when the revolution comes. Well, let's see. We're going to be eating plenty. What? What is this person talking about? Let's see. They calls over... Okay, I don't know what that person is talking about in the message. I couldn't even read the message. <laughs> I, I, I love Mary J. Blosh. Okay, Gina, when church music be playing in the car i'd be shouting and dancing in the car people be looking at me like i'm crazy <laughs> that's how i am too christopher <laughs> you said you'd be shouting and dancing <laughs> wow whitney houston the greatest love of all whitney houston has some of the greatest hits listen here Oh, that's a good one. Mary J. Everlet. Yeah. Okay, listen, Kevin said, why can't I cook? I try so hard um, and nothing. Well, listen, Kevin, I'm here. I'm going to show you how to cook. I'm going to show you how to cook Jeannie Young style. If you just stick with me, I promise I'm going to make you a whole cook. Okay? Because, listen, when I do these videos, I do, Derek, I like Janet Jackson. 
When I make these videos, I make these videos in these lives for people like yourself. Because Gina Young, my plan is to teach the world how to cook. And I'm going to do it. Okay? So, um, when you come to this channel, most people that come to this channel, it's because they want to learn how to make something. You know, they want to learn how to make a new recipe, cook a new recipe, um, or make something different. I'm going to make sure, and I promise you, I'm going to show you how to cook in detail so that you can understand the art of cooking. Okay? So, we're, we're going to do it together. I post um, videos often. Okay, and then in a community post, I'm constantly letting you guys know when I'm going live and and you'll see when I'm making these videos, when I'm making these videos, I'm teaching you in detail so you can understand why we want to do something when we're cooking, why we wouldn't want to do something when we're cooking. And I'm doing these lives also and you can cook along with me. Okay, I make sure that I wait on those that need, you know, if you're a little behind or whatever if I'm going too fast but you just stick with me I'm gonna show you how to cook okay and 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 then please understand it doesn't happen overnight okay for anybody and everybody in this chat can tell you it doesn't happen overnight but eventually you're gonna be like what I can cook okay new addition yes uh, li listen at Ron Wilson. He says she can teach you, I promise. If she can teach me, she can teach anybody. And you know what? Honestly, Ron Wilson right there, he's saying that. He is so serious. He's been telling me this since the beginning of time. And I am so grateful that he, you know, tells you guys that. And he tells me that. Okay, Nate says, if you were to have a restaurant, what would be your top meals you would have oh okay okay so let's just talk about it um all right um you guys be asking me stuff so fast okay 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 what would be my top meals i would have i definitely would do okay <laughs> it's a hard question because I kind of feel like if I were to have like a barbecue place that sells barbecue, I would do ribs, I would do pulled pork, I would do um, greens, potato salad, I would make sweet potatoes, mac and cheese, baked mac and cheese, I would make my grandmom's linguine pasta salad. That would be for a barbecue joint. Boom. And of course, you know, we would have like um, pineapple upside down cake, sweet potato pies for the dessert. That would be for a barbecue place. Now, there's also um, There could also be a southern restaurant where we smother pork chops. <laughs> Check it out. Where we smother pork chops, where we make um, fried gizzards, uh, where we make chicken and dumplings, hot water cornbread, things like that. Like there's so many. So. I, I could just really take you there with different genres. Is genre the word that I want to use for this? But um, I would really have to sit down and think about it. I, I really would because so many things come to mind. I definitely would not want to do a seafood spot. You know, I, I just wouldn't want to do a seafood spot. I wouldn't be interested in it. <laughs> he says, that sounds good. Thank you love chicken and dumplings i know me too and meatloaf <laughs> yes derek we're doing your meatloaf next weekend and i know you couldn't be more excited people go crazy i know they do people go nuts over seafood but guess why i, I said see uh see i wouldn't want to do seafood i wouldn't want to do seafood because seafood spoils quickly um uh, it does you you know, 
seafood spoils quickly. So you really got to have an eye on how much you have thawed out, how much you're cooking, um, and how much you're not cooking. And if it's still in the refrigerator and you've thawed it out already, you know, you have to cook it because it'll go bad. You'll be losing, you'll be losing more than you'll be um, selling. So I, I think the seafood would, uh-uh. Can you smell the cake yet? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. And if you sell out, they would be upset. You right. I'm going to check my cake. I'm going to take this time. I'm going to take a um, toothpick. I want to put it down in my cake. See if it comes out nice and clean. If it comes out nice and clean, guess what? Your cake is done. Okay? If it comes out with little pieces all over it, it ain't done. If it comes out with batter all over it, it ain't done. You can use a fork. You can use a knife. Use a butter knife. Whatever you want to do to check your cake, go ahead. Okay? I'm going to be right back. And I'll tell you what my cake is looking like, okay? You stay there. So it's, it's, it, it, um, it's going to take longer than a box cake mix would normally take, which would be about 37 minutes, you know, 28 minutes, 37 minutes. This cake takes much longer. I want you guys to check your cake, and then you come back into the comment section and let me know how your cake is doing. How, um, tell me how long, does anybody know exactly how long it's been in? Oh yeah, that's a good one, Samuel. Yeah, thank you, Ty. Ty says we don't want to rush it. Gina, could you pick out a song? Oh, oh, uh. Yours is done, okay, if, okay. Kenyatta Jackson says that's a cool sofa. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right. You said 513. Okay. Oh, yeah. We put it in at 513, and it is 635. Oh, I'm looking, I'm getting a security thing. Somebody's in the backyard, but <laughs> it's my husband. My husband, Dakota's in the backyard. <laughs> oh, that's a good one worldwide. Brand I was singing Brandy the other day. No, I was singing uh, Monica. And what was the song that I was singing? Um, uh... I can never, you, when you guys ask me something, I can't think of things like right on the spot. <laughs> Thank you, Ron. Angel, oh, that's a good one, Samuel. 
Maxwell. Oh, yeah. That's a good one, uh, D Saturday. Oh, that's a good one uh, by Peaches. Yeah. That's what it was, Saj, before you walk out my life. Oh, a singing that. Oh, we were singing that the other day. You just put yours in. Okay. Let me let me see something. Hold on, guys. Oh, well, I'm not going nowhere. I'm just adjusting the camera a little bit. We got that light coming in from the backyard, and it's just like so bright. All right. Thank you, Sonia, for welcoming Tanya. Asad says, that's my jam too. <laughs> Monica, she did. She had so many hits. You're right, Ty. <laughs> Jesus is the light. I, you're right about that. Oh, that's a good one, Lat uh, Latika. I do too. That that's a good one, my holy king. Ray Charles, tell let's see. One moment at a time. That that is a good one. So now, very soon, very, very, very soon. I I'm just have to tell you guys, if you put your cake in, when I put my cake in, your cake should be, um, your cake should be getting done because my cake is just about done, okay? When I went in to check it, I did have a little bit of pieces on my, on my fork that I don't want to see the pieces. I want my fork to go in, you know, and I want it to come out nice and clean, okay? So... I'm gonna let it cook a little bit longer. How about your favorite gospel song? Um, <laughs> wow, there's so many, there's so many. I know I'm not gonna be able to think of it. Oh, that's a good one, Saj. That's a good one, Samuel, you're right. Let's see, Kizzy says, I have Tina Marie CDs, her greatest hits, Casanova, Brown, Square It Is. Let's see. So, I know, okay, Coffee. You said there are so many of them. Karen Clark shared, this is a Take Me to the King. That's a good one. Yeah, it is. Gina, I bet you can sing. Love her. Out on the limb. Oh, I love that. I just, I just told my husband to uh, put that in his playlist. Out on the limb. Yeah. He, he was okay with it. He said that's a good song, but I don't know if he actually downloaded it. <laughs> Cause I was, I like that song a little more than he did. <laughs> it is a good one, Drew. <laughs> Fred Hammond, absolutely, K Coffee. That is a great one. You learned about music from the 50s, 60s, and 70s, and then the 80s, thanks to your older brother. Okay. CC Winans. Oh, yeah. I'm still here. Hold on, guys. We do. Let's see. Um, Shell Cook said, we always talk about music on your live. We do. We do. I think we're like a, a music family, right? Oh, I, I like Maxwell, too. 
Anything by Yolanda, Yolanda Adams. You're right. Oh, Derek said the pretenders. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's ask Nate. Nate, how did your cake turn out? We're, we're just wondering. I'm going to check my cake here in just a second. Okay. And then, and then, um, Bruno Mars. Bruno Mars has great music. He really does. He really does. Gina Gibson. Let's see. See, I don't know what that is, Johnson. Oh, Mary Terrell says Mary Mary is the favorite for them. Yeah, Samuel, I like that. My Holy King says he loves some Usher. Alicia Keys, love it. Love her. That's a good one. Lenny Williams, because I... Let's see, Eula Brown, don't make me start shouting amen. <laughs> Tamar Braxton. Tamar Braxton actually can really sing. Yes, she can. All of them can sing, right? They all have such a beautiful voice. Yes, Tony Braxton. <laughs> you know, um, Tamar can really imitate her sister singing. And she can sound just like her. It's beautiful. Tony Braxton has an amazing voice. Uh, Terrell says, I love Tony Braxton. <laughs> yeah, I think we all do. I'm going to check my cake. I'm checking that cake. I'll be sure. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to check my cake. All right. If my cake is done, I'm taking that baby. Huh? My husband is saying something. Let me see. All right, listen. I am going to check this cake. If my cake is done, I'm taking it out. And, what, and if your cake is done, you take yours out. Now listen. Get, um, like, if you have, like, a hand towel or a tea towel, you know, or a kitchen towel, or even some paper towels. I want you to wet it with some cold water and wring it out. Because when I go to turn my cake over upside down, I'm going to put a nice cold towel over top of it, just to help to assist the cake being pulled out of the pan. Although some of our cakes might flop right out, which that's what we want to do. But I always like to give it a little bit of help by putting a nice cold towel on top of the cake pan, but I'm going to check it first. And if it's ready, what I'm going to do, I'm going to flip this camera around, and you guys are going to see everything that I'm doing. We're go My mouth is salivating. <laughs> we're going to wait for the cake to cool down before we slice into it. We're going to put those macerated strawberries all over Cool Whip. We're going to have some pound cake, Jenny Young style, but we got to make sure it's done. All right, like I said, if it's done, we'll turn around, take it out, and I'll flip the camera over, okay? Be right back. getting ready to grab I have a um, it's like a cake carrier and that's what I want my cake to sit on if you don't have a cake carrier don't worry no worrying about it okay 
Uh oh, uh oh, Kizzy says, Patty LaBelle got the baddest voice ever. I might have to agree with you on that, but I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, because there's so many people that has an amazing voice. All right, let's get this camera turned over. All right. Let's see, don't get dizzy on me. I'm moving the camera, guys. All right. Hold on here. See, I got my toothpick there. Oh, yes, Stephanie Mills. Come on. All right. We got a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous cake here, okay? That's my toothpick that I used. We got the strawberries. And we got glaze, okay? So now, this is my handy dandy cake carrier. This goes on top to keep my cake nice and safe, you know. Then you can just kind of like close it down and carry it with you, okay? So, remember I said you're going to need paper towel, a hand towel, a tea towel, whatever kind of towel you can use. We're going to wet it and get it nice and cold. We will get a, um, a butter knife, okay? And if you will come in a little bit, let's go across the edge. Come in close so they can see exactly what we're doing here, okay? Look at that. You don't have to do the whole thing, but get most of it. Just kind of loosen it up a little bit. The oil would have served its purpose, you know, so our cake will come out. But this always helps also, okay? Don't cut your cake all up. Just go across the edge just a little bit, okay? Follow me on this here. And then we'll grab a towel together. Beautiful. Even get the middle. Loosen the middle up. All right. Got some good smells going on here. Smell like vanilla all up in here.
when you flip it, you gotta do it quick. If you don't have one of these, use one of these. Flip it over, wham, bam. So now since I'm using this, I'm just gonna do a number. Let's see, that's pretty hot. Let me grab paper towel. All right, you can scoot back a little bit with the camera. And we'll do this. Let's see, I feel like because we're going to ice it. Slow down, Gina. Because we're going to ice it, I'm going to set my cake on top of this. Okay? Here's how it's done. Okay, put the cold towel on, give it a couple knocks around, just like so in this manner, just to help and assist your cake a little bit. Don't really have to do the banging if you don't want to, but I like to kind of do this, make it cold, chill it, and assist our cake sliding out with these, okay? You can set the camera back up. All right. <clears throat> so now I'm going to lift this up and pray to the good Lord. All right. So now, one second. Got a little tiny piece that's stuck. And guess what? It's okay. I want you guys to relax, because things happen, okay? Little piece of our cake stuff. If that happens to you, don't you dare. Don't you dare freak out. Come on now. No freaking out. All right, we got a gorgeous cake here, okay? Let's turn it that way. <laughs> hey, we got pound cake. And then what we're going to do to turn it over is we'll do this. We'll flip it back over and get it on the other side that I like to ice. You can ice this side if you want, but I like to ice the other side, okay? So now, but you don't want to ice it until the cake cools down a little bit. How much is a little bit, Gina? Because we've been waiting long enough. I, I know. I know you're in there. I know you're in the chat saying that, Gina, we've been waiting long enough. Well, listen. And I also feel like, I also feel like your cake is going to taste better after you let it cool down by a little bit. You go to taste it right now, it's not going to taste to its full potential. Let it cool down, and I promise you it tastes better. Go ahead and get yourself all excited, okay? Go ahead, get yourself all excited, and grab your strawberries. Can you guys see the strawberries? Okay. And grab your icing or your glaze, so to speak. Okay. And we can mix. Can you see the glaze? Come in on this beautiful lemon glaze. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, make that for your mama. Look at this. Ooh, well, you better make you some. Okay, so let's cover this. I'm going to come back around. We'll chat for a little while while we wait on all of our cakes to cool down. And then we'll slice into it. Once we slice into it, we are going to put strawberries on it, grab some Cool Whip out. If you want to ice your cake, you've got some beautiful lemon glaze, okay? So let's talk for a little while while our cakes cool down, all right? Now, and, and, and what I love, what I totally love, I love that my cake I stuck to the bottom just a little bit. No worries, somebody can eat that piece right there. Nobody will never know. <laughs> right, things like that happens. And when things like that happens, don't freak out. Like, no freaking out in the kitchen, you hear me? Because this is gonna be some of the best pound cake you ever had. Absolutely it is. And don't let a little tiny piece of cake that sticks to your pan freak you out. So right, Gideon is here to show you guys how to make cooking easy, stress-free. All right, I'm flipping this camera back around and we can talk until our cake cools down. You don't want, let, let, let's talk about something really quickly. 
you don't want to put the icing on or your glaze on right now, it's very important because if you put the glaze on right now, it's going to melt and you won't be able to see it. Yeah, it may melt into your cake and that would be delicious, but we still want to be able to see it. And in order for that to happen, you got to let it cool down, drizzle it all over the top of your cake, and it won't melt. I'm coming around. Now, that is one beautiful cake. I, I just have to say it. I have to say it. And the house smells so good. If you've taken your cake out of the oven, listen to me. You turn that oven off, okay? Hold on, guys. I'm signing into my computer. Yes, look at the cake. Like, seriously. It's so much fun. And listen, the reward really comes when you go to taste it. Oh, listen here. I need to know how Nate's cake turned out. Nate, can you tell me total time was an hour and 40 minutes. Thank you, um, Dogman, 3161. Wish I could have a piece. Oh my goodness, I know. You spray the cake pan with the Baker's Joy and you never have a problem. Yeah, absolutely, you can use the Baker's Joy. It's just not something that I buy, you know? The gloss comes from, you can purchase it at Amazon. It is a Vita Lip and it's rose hemp oil. This one is rose hemp oil, but I have like several different ones, different flavors, so to speak. Um, and it's a lip gloss. I love this lip glosses because it's not greasy. I don't like lip glosses that are greasy and it makes makeup come off. So I like it where, and this is not tacky or anything. I like how it gives me the gloss, but it's not oily. But when you purchase them, you can get them in the pack. I usually get a pack like of 12 of them. Gina, we still been talking about music in here. Did you love that song? We are, oh, you know I did, Derek. We are the world. <laughs> I sing that song with Dakota all the time and he loves it. <laughs> Thank you, Samia, my holy king. Oh, I didn't know they had it from there, my holy king. My 12 year old grandbaby has been cooking for a year now, all because you show her how to make ribs. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Looks phenomenal. Um, I have, I missed your message, I'm sorry. Eula, how are you? Gina, it looks good, I want some, please. Gina, please send me a piece through the Uber Eats. <laughs> I'll send you a piece right now. <laughs> yes. Okay, you're about to leave and go get you a pound cake from the store so you can pretend you made it, Jeannie Young style. Okay, now I want some. <laughs> well, listen, go ahead and go to the store and get you some. And get you some strawberries and some Cold Whip. And by the time you come back, we'll be eating and you can eat with us. <laughs> it's not tacky. Thank you. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm just going to send it right through the screen. <laughs> <laughs> yes yours oh, yours kind of stuck but you're going to ice it and eat it let me see let's see let's see shani says mine's kind of stuck but i'm going to ice it and eat it a baker's nightmare oh my goodness i'm so sorry but listen please i don't want any person to um Okay, we have so much fun on your channel. Thank you, Derek. I'm so, I'm so glad you do. Um, I don't want anybody to lose the passion for wanting to learn how to cook or um, the passion for cooking if something goes wrong because um, things can happen. Things can totally, totally happen when you're cooking. And you see a little piece of my cake got stuck to the pan, but I'm not gonna freak out about it. We'll just cut that piece out. 
you know, I don't want nobody to steer away from cooking because your cake might have stuck. But I tell you what, you taste it and guess what? See what it tastes like. It tastes good. It tastes good. You know, and sometimes I feel like our cake pans, sometimes I feel like once we have a cake pan for so long, you may need to get a new one. You know, because using those harsh um, soaps and maybe a, um, I, don't, I don't know what you're using to wash our pans off with, but I feel like they lose its, um, lose, I don't know if it's Teflon or it's nonstick, whatever, whatever. I feel like sometimes that can happen to the pans and they don't always come out. You know, I need to get another pan and I'm going to do that. And I feel like the next pan that I get won't give me any issues for another three years. And then after that, I'll get another pan, you know. Oh, your, your pan is brand new. Gina always makes it fun to cook with stress-free cooking. Thank you, Derek. Gina, have you thought about allowing people in Zoom during Saturdays live to show you how theirs come out? I, I possibly, I have thought about it. I'm not sure if I want to do that. Um, we'll just kind of see. We'll just kind of see. You never know what Gina Young. You remember somebody Lagasse saying it's on his cooking show. It smells good. Get a seasoned used pan. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see what you're saying, Nay. My dogs are barking, my goodness. Thank you, uh, Ronica. Won't you come out with Jeannie Young utensils? I can just make strawberry parfait. Absolutely you can, Tyrese. Hey, you can. Yes, you can. Gina, it's like having a phone call with a good friend. <laughs> What, what, what are you talking? Are you talking about like right now what we're doing? <laughs> uh, Nicole, if I was there, Gina would have knocked me out. What, what do you mean? What did you do? Did you do something wrong with the recipe? <laughs> Hold on, guys. Hold on one second. So we're only gonna, we're not gonna let our cake uh, cool down forever in a day, you know. But like I said, you need it to cool down just for a little bit so we can cut into it. Because if you cut into it right now, what's gonna happen is um, your cake can fall apart. I'm silly. I can be silly though. Um, your cake will fall apart if you go to cut into it right now. So I say, we'll, we'll wait another 10 minutes and then we'll slice down into that baby. How about that? They said, no, if I was there, I would eat the whole thing. Oh, <laughs> I would, and you would have to knock me out. Oh my goodness. No, if you was here, what we would do is we would make two, Right. We would have you make one with me, right? I would make one after yours was done, and then I would have one and you would have one because <laughs> I wouldn't let you eat all of my cake because <laughs> that cake is so stinking good. <laughs> so you'd have a whole cake to take, take home, right? Yours came out so good. Brandy, yes. Okay. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Now, if you cooked with Gina Young today, let me know how your cake turned out. If yours is still in the oven, it's okay. If yours is still in the oven, let it stay in the oven. Fire, what do you mean? Oh, that sounds so good, but after mine's is gone, I'll need some more. Get out of here. <laughs> I would have, then I would. <laughs> uh, we would be fighting. <laughs> I'll say,
say, don't you know she done came over here, she done made her cake, ate her cake, and now she trying to take my cake. <laughs> it would be a it would be a mess. <laughs> Jackie says, right. Have to have cake for Mr. Young and Dakota. Yes, absolutely, because they love this cake. Gina, you should come out with more t-shirts saying, make it Gina Young style, or, or, or socks. Oh, okay, hold on, okay, okay, okay. Or socks that says, knock your socks off in the merch. Maybe that's something we can do tonight. That would be a lot of fun, Derek. The cake, the cake is fire, which is interpret it as good okay 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 i thought you were saying that your cake is on fire i thought are you i was thinking you have to be kidding me like how did your oven catch <laughs> hold on guys <laughs> i'm thinking he's saying that his cake then caught on fire okay so the cake is fire Give me red, give me, I, you know, I, I normally know how many people is in here uh, cooking with me. Can you guys let me know if you're cooking in here with me by giving me red hearts all up in here? And I can get an idea of how many people's, how many people cooked with me. Wanda, how are you? I didn't speak to you today. Lisa, okay, Lisa cooked. Hi, Lisa. Our cake is almost cooled. Gina, did you ever think of making a cookbook? Yes, um, we did. Okay, I see Tyrese and Ede and Mama C. Uh, we will be doing a cookbook very soon. I, I just don't know when. And honestly, it's about finding the time to do it. Nay cook with me. Yannette cooked with me. And, oh, desserts are your weakness, okay. Gretchen cooked along with us. Make the cookbook t-shirts and socks. Okay, see, see that, that, that's when it comes in where I have to say uh, it's really about having the time. Don't set your cakes on, yeah, please. Read, Derek, read Derek's message. Okay, I see Lenore is cooking with me. Okay. Okay, Veronica said, I'm with you. All right. HJ cooked today. Okay. Is there anybody in the chat that you cooked, a, you made a cake, and um, your cake is still cooking? Or you cooked the cake and it didn't turn out right. Somebody let me know something. Jewel says, I'm with you. Okay. Kizzy. Okay, Kizzy, I didn't know you were cooking with me. Okay. V. Sanford. Okay. Your cake came out beautiful, says Mama C. Okay, thank you. Okay, Vienna, uh, uh, Vivian says, I missed the live. Got to get a mixing stand. Well, no, listen, um, you can mix that up by hand. As long as your butter is at room temperature, your eggs are at room temperature, you can mix this whole mix up by hand, or you can use one of the handheld mixer that has the two beaters to it. I don't know why I do this when I say the beaters. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I I've made this recipe for years using the mixer that has the two beaters, or just mix it up by hand. It turns out just the, just as delicious. Yours is cooling, Lisa. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm happy to know all the people that's in here. I'm cooking along with us. We're gonna wait just another five minutes, and then um, we're gonna slice down into it. Get you a nice saucer out, cause we're gonna put if if oh oh oh, we do have to put. Let me fill my cake. I want to touch it and see if it's cooled down enough to put the icing on for those that want to put icing on, okay? Sneaky over Gina's 
to put some of those beans for some of the beans in the cornbread. Oh my goodness, my husband is so excited for these beans. I, I turned these beans on early this morning, and we all, even Dakota, we all love a good pot of beans. You know, it's got some ham in it. We got some white rice and some cornbread. That's what's for dinner. <laughs> yes, it is. And we got pound cake for dinner or for dessert. All right, so I want to see if the cake is nice and cooled down. If it's cooled, we'll flip the camera, put the icing on, okay? Oh, my Holy King says so much flavor. Okay, I'm happy to know that. Happy to know that. Valentine's Day for your loved one, birthdays, holidays, any day, 
the weekend just because it's a day. <laughs> and you know how to make it now. Look how gorgeous. I love that this is a thin, beautiful glaze, right? We're not getting the thing that this is setting on. We're not getting it messy because we put paper underneath. Look how gorgeous this is. Like, you can't, you can't tell me this is a gorgeous. <laughs> Come on. All right. So I don't want to overwhelm this too much. That little bit right there is just magnificent. Okay. So what's happening right now is any leftover glaze is going to the bottom of this stand that it's sitting on. In about five minutes, I'll take the paper out the way and then we have a nice clean stand. Okay. And then what we'll do after I take the paper away, we'll slice it. Get the cool whip out for me. <laughs> Are you ready? I, I know you're ready. I know you're ready. Mmm. Woo! Mmm. I tell you what. Y'all saw it for yourself. The lemon glaze. Yes. Thank you. The lemon glaze is really beautiful it's so refreshing this is not a cake that you're going to feel heavy and weighed down when you eat you're going to be all excited when you eat this this is the kind of cool whip i have if you have the kind in the tub that's fine you know all right i'm going to get the plate out that we're going to use i know my family is waiting to try a piece all right, let me wash my hands a little bit. I was licking my fingers. All right, hands are clean. Let's pull the paper off. Are you with me? Look at that, toss that out. I know some of you, you're gonna be licking the glaze right off of that paper. <laughs> I know. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> Can they come in? Okay, here's what I want to happen. I want the camera to come down on it like this. And then we can back up when I cut it. So come in, come down so they can see. Look at the little lemon pieces. Look at this gorgeousness here. That right there, this is crispy. This side, the underneath side is crispy. It's buttery, it's crunchy. The inside is soft, it's supple, it's light. It is good, all right? So now, how many of you are proud of yourself right now? Are, are you proud of yourself? You know what? Because you should. You should be so proud of yourself right now. Because you did it. So many of you. So many of you thought that you couldn't do it. But, but I showed you. I showed you that you can do it. All right? So, can you read the messages for me? Are y'all ready to cut down into this cake? Are they ready? Okay, let's see. Somebody tell me we're ready. Somebody say, Gina, we're ready. Anybody ready? They're ready. Ready, ready, ready. Is it a bunch of readies? Okay, let's do it. Let's cut down into this cake, okay? I want to cut right here. You're going to hear crispy. Oh, yes. Ooh, and it's so soft in the middle. Yes. Oh, and then we just grab it. Look at this. Oh, girl. Listen here. Look at that. Look at that. That part right there. Crispy. Mmm. Can they see it? No. You really have to see this. This is what I really need you to see. I want them to see this. Can they see that? That's what I want them to see right there. Can you see that? Can it get closer? 
You see in the inside? That's what your cake is supposed to look like. That is what I call a moist cake. You hear me? A lot of people don't like that word. I don't mind using it if my cake is nice and moist. <laughs> what I'm going to do, I'm going to slice my cake in half so that I have two nice pieces. All right? Hmm. Mm -hmm. And guess what? We gotta say a prayer. We gotta say a prayer. I need, you know what I mean. Once we say a prayer, down the middle to get two pieces. Heavenly Father, we like to thank you, Lord, for everyone in this chat, for everyone that's going to come into this chat. I pray that you bless over them. <laughs> I pray that you keep them safe. I pray that no weapons formed against them shall prosper. Heavenly Father, we love you, we believe in you, we have faith in you, and we thank you for your mercy. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts and make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels down to surround us day and night. Your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace over our minds in the name of Jesus. We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. We bind the devil away from us in Jesus' name. Devil, you have no authority over these households. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head, the food, the love, the peace and the joy you bring us every day. Amen. 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 You know, I laughed a little bit because my mouth is totally salivating. And I could barely, I could barely say my prayer in the beginning because my mouth, I, I'm ready. Come in close. Come in close. Come in close. Are you with me? Are you with me? Who's with me? Oh, my goodness. You gotta be with me. Oh my goodness. Girl, listen here. If you didn't make it today, no worries. Because you can always make it another day. You'll be making it Gina Young style. And come look at this. Oh, hot dog. I'm, listen. I'm so stinking proud of this. You should be proud of yourself. Look at that. Yum. <laughs> Big yummo. Make yourself. <laughs> Amen. Once again to my beautiful prayer. I'm going to come back around. We're going to sit and talk and chat. I'm going to give you all that first bite. Mm. here. I wonder if my husband wants a piece like right now. He might. He's not a fan of eating outside but because he's outside right now. If he comes in, I feel like he's going to come in. I think he wants a piece. Honey, you want a piece? I sure do. I sure do. Okay. Alright. I sure do. You sure do. Okay, let's see what you're working with. This is what we're working with. Hold on, my Okay. Mm. <laughs> mm. It's so good. Okay, so I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut him a slice. Can you put my piece over there? Don't eat it. Don't you dare eat my cake. That ain't your plate. Okay. Hold on. I'm getting a little excited. Let me make my baby a piece of cake. Oh, it's so crispy on the outside and so soft in the middle. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, oh. oh this is just too exciting. Oh, I know he 
always going to want strawberries. Nicole, you can cut your own, but you make sure you wash your hands. Okay, hold on, I got to eat that. Hmm, I got to eat that done now. <laughs> hey! I'm just going to put strawberry on his because I feel like that's what he wants. All right, and then I'm coming around. I'm coming around the top. about to get it get into it mm -hmm. yeah. it's definitely boss it's definitely boss can you say <laughs> can you say that again for the people it's please definitely boss. It's, it's, boss. it's definitely boss it's <laughs> boss okay he's taking the plate he's running with the plate okay 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 guys all right hmm? Nicole, do you get yours you wash your okay. hands okay uh oh, Jack said it's definitely boss. It's definitely boss. <laughs> Angela says hello to Dakota and Mr. Young. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Oh my God. What's up? What are y'all? And the dogs ran with him. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Look, 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 look. Yes. Okay. He, he's gone. He done ran in the basement. The dogs followed him, and they want a piece of his cake. He'll probably give them a, a little bit. <laughs> oh, he, he spoils them, so confirmed by Mr. Young, yes. Look, here it is, live in the flesh. Come on in, knock your sock. Listen, if this recipe, if this, this live knocked your socks off, put socks in the comment section. And uh, put socks all up in this comment section if this is really turning you out. Look at that. Take a bite. I'm going to go in. Oh. <laughs> mm. This right here. Listen. This right here is some... Uh-oh, Christopher said, my shirt... Shoes, hat, and everything. <laughs> Jacks. <laughs> it's funny when I see the brown socks. The brown socks is so funny. All right, come on. Yes, you can get some. Listen. Listen. As far as when it comes, that cake is soaked in strawberry juice right now mm. Mm. see when i do like this like this that just means so stinking good <laughs> gina <laughs> pray for my stomach Thank you, Miss Karen. Mm. Coda, make sure you uh, cover the uh, strawberries up, okay? Leave the cake uncovered for now. Oh my goodness. Mm. 
I know, Saj. Latif, Latif, I'm not sure what the name is. Laffy, Laffy, Laffy Green. Okay, yeah, I thought it said Latif. It is, it is the brown socks for me that really cracks me up, right? Look at this. Oh my goodness. Girl, listen girl, you something else. Angela, thank you. Angela, simply thank you. Here's a big piece. So, somebody said, and this right here is the crispy, crunchity, buttery part, okay? And then in there, it's so soft. Look, look how soft and supple, okay? I'm teaching you. Catherine, that is so funny. Catherine said her high heels went flying off. <laughs> Marie. Marie said, Gina, I'm swallowing the air right now. Head turning, body moving, booty shaking, whatever you want to say about this. This is so good. I don't know about booty shaking. We ain't doing no booty shaking. Look at that. Oh. Mm. That crust and the moistness is everything. Yes, tea cakes. Tea cakes, you are right on it. There's another piece for you. You know what? Although this is just a pound cake. I feel like there's something really sexy about a pound cake. I, I really do. And that rum cake that I make, guys, listen. You know I'm making you that rum cake for the holidays, you know, so you really want to watch that video. Okay, Samuel, come back in anytime you want, okay? Thank you for coming in. Mmm. No fair. <laughs> okay, Samuel, no problem. Hey, we enjoyed having you. <laughs> yes, and no booty shaking. But, Dakota, turn that TV down, boy. He act, Dakota... I'm gonna have to get his ears checked. He turns everything up loud. Mm. You know, see you later, Christopher. Um, you seen alcohol ice cream at Walmart? You gotta be kidding me. Next week, um, I, someone had asked me to make a steak in the oven. I thought, what a great idea. I don't have a video of steak in the oven. Excuse me, although I have like 1,300 videos. If not that, it, uh, I'm 1,200 and something. So I think I'll do that. I don't know. I'm not sure what videos I'm going to be doing. I have them written down. I'm just not sure what, what videos they are, but I'm excited. Mm. Mm. Oh, Saj says she's pulling Christopher back. Where are you going, buddy? Get back here. <laughs> mm. How good was that? Yes. Listen, now, you, you didn't have to do the strawberries, you know, if you didn't want to. But 
the cake alone without the icing is beautiful. The cake with a little bit of butter spread on it after you slice it is beautiful. The cake with the icing is beautiful. But then, when you turn around and you put the strawberries, <laughs> put the strawberries with the Cool Whip, you're on another level here. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I know those dogs are watching my husband eat that stuff, eat that dessert. It is. It is, Ty. It's really good when you don't need the strawberries, when you don't need the icing. It's good just plain. Because Grandma, she always made it plain, you know. Mm. So now, how about we talk about something? How about we decide what we're going to be making? Mmm. This Thursday, we decide, we vote on it, and then we set it in stone. It's going to be 6 p.m. on Thursday. Okay? And then, I'll do a whole community post on, and you guys can vote, because we already know what we're making on Saturday. Saturday we're making, um, and this and, and sat, this going to be dedicated to Derek. <laughs> Saturday we're going to be making, um, uh-oh, I need to be plugged back up. Saturday we will be making um, a meatloaf meal. It's going to have mashed potatoes and sweet peas or you could do corn if you want you know whichever one you want to do um and i think they said they wanted gravy so that's what we're doing saturday 4 p.m eastern standard time so now we need to figure out what we're going to be doing thursday okay so dakota please help me please how do you see the community post? Can someone tell HJ how to see the community post? And then when I get some time, I'll literally pick my phone up and show you how to see the community post, okay? I need to get a pen and a paper. Okay, you can see it's getting a little dark outside. Um, I need a pen and a paper, please. What? The cake was great. Oh, Dakota said the cake was great. Okay. All right. Pen and a paper. Yep. All right. Put that over there. When you when you come back, put that over there. Okay. So there's um, so many people had so many great ideas for what they wanted to eat on Thursday. Now, when we think about a meal for oh, that's a good one. Homemade hamburger helper. That is totally a great one because when we think about a meal that we want to do live on Thursdays after you guys come home from work, because typically everybody is tired when y'all come home from work. When y'all come home from work, y'all are tired. You want to sit back, make something delicious. It's going to be like a 30-minute meal, going to be cheap. Okay, so let's think of meals like that. Don't think of nothing that you're not going to want to cook. Because, see, me, I can cook um, a 10-course meal. And when I say that, all I'm trying to say is I can make, I can cook for three hours. But that's not what I want for you guys. I want for you guys to make a 30-minute meal, something that's going to be delicious, and it doesn't cost a whole lot. Okay? That Christopher makes a good point. He said, hey, how about a one-pot meal? Okay? All right. So now, boom, boom, got the paper. Got the pen. Throw some ideas out there to me. Once you throw the ideas out to me, give me four. Uh, give me four different things that we could possibly make. Right? I'll put it into the community post. You guys will vote. Okay? 
before and when we get ready to vote the, for the person that said where can they find the community post i'll show you i'll put my phone up to the screen and show you exactly how to get to it okay so how about we do it all right let's go throw, throw it at me throw it at me Not london broil so jacks a london broil uh, will take a long time okay so here's what we'll do uh, Debbie is saying salmon patties. How many of you would like to do salmon patties? How many of you guys would like to do salmon patties? I think my necklace has been on backwards the whole time. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, here's what we'll do. Let's put salmon patties on the list, okay? Salmon patties is going to be one of them. I see a lot of people are like this, this and that. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Salmon patties is going to be like in the running. Okay. Somebody says chili. Would you guys like chili? You could do that, but you won't eat them. Oh, okay, Catherine. Broccoli casserole, would you guys like that? You know, the broccoli casserole that has the rice and the chicken? Answer me about the broccoli, rice, and chicken casserole. I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe I'm trying to cover up the wind, some of the light from the window. <laughs> All right. Broccoli casserole. Okay, let me, let me see. Okay, if it's too much for my eyes and I just can't figure out what you guys want, I'm just gonna put some stuff in the running and you guys can vote. Broccoli. I did red beans and rice live already. Okay. So we do have salmon, okay? We're gonna be doing salmon. Or not, not, not we're gonna be doing salmon. Salmon is one of them, okay? We're gonna vote on four of them. Okay, I'm just looking. I'm not gonna do the crab cake. The reason why is because crab is very expensive. And um, I don't wanna do something that's really expensive for most, most folks. So I'll, I can do like a video on that, but not for a Thursday when you guys are coming home working. You wanna make something quick and simple. It doesn't cost a lot. Okay, let's see. Stuffed mushrooms, pepper steak, all right. Let's see, tamale, turkey wings. Turkey wings take way too long. We, we be in the kitchen two, three hours. Shepherd's pie, okay, tell me. Shepherd's pie, is shepherd's pie a good one? Just say yes or no. I did a pepper steak live already, I think. <laughs> All right. Yes to shepherd's pie. Okay. No and yes. No, no, no. Okay. No and yes. How about, okay, tuna noodle casserole? Tuna noodle casserole. No. Okay. I'm curious how often do you grill out? Let me see. Yes, I am, but I don't want to be in the heat grilling. <laughs> Butter beef tips, chicken curry. Okay, no chili, hamburger subs, okay. 
Okay. Okay. <clears throat> stuff shells. I, I don't feel like a lot of people will show up for stuff shells. Somebody is saying, what about a stuffed cheeseburger? Would you guys like to do that? And it's called a loosey-goosey. Would anybody do a stuffed burger? If, if you're saying yes to something, say yes, stuffed burger, or no stuffed burger, you, you know. No, okay. All right, let, here, here, here's one. Would you guys like to do, um, <clears throat> excuse me, would you like to do a, like an Italian sub, a cold Italian sub? Yes to the Italian sub or no to it? Yes to the stuffed burger, okay. Yes, burgers, okay. Yes to the burger. Okay, yes to the burger. Yes to the burger. Yes to the sub. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, somebody's saying yes to Italian sub. No sub. <laughs> you guys, my goodness. Okay, okay, okay. This is so nuts. <laughs> All right, here's what we're going to do. Let's put the stuffed burger on there, okay? Listen, I make some good stuffed burgers, okay? Let's put it on there. Sometimes, um, sometimes the messages are a little overwhelming and I can't see, cause like what people are wanting, you know, no, 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 no. And they won't tell me what they're saying no to, you know, like you could say no to the stuffed burger, no to the stuffed burger. No. And then I'll say, then I won't even put it on there. You, you know what I'm saying? But if everybody's saying no, 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 I don't know what you're even talking about. Okay. Salmon patties, boom, it's going on there. Stuffed burgers, it's going on there. The third one that's going on there is going to be an Italian sub. We can make some Italian subs when you guys come home on Thursday. It's going to be quick, simple, in a cinch, and they're going to be delicious, okay? I, I, somebody, um, uh, HJ says, what about a veggie meal? I just did a veggie, um, uh, I did a live a veggie stir fry for those that wanted a veggie meal. So I, I just did that like two lives back. Okay, so let's do an Italian sub. All right, now we got one more. One more to choose from, okay? So what's going to be on the list that you guys can vote on? Salmon patties, stuffed burgers, Italian sub. What's the next one going to be? Yeah, <laughs> John says yay to the sub. <laughs> well, John, you better vote. You better vote, okay? All right, so one more. Give me another one. Give me a good one. Drunken noodles. Would anybody, look, look let me just ask this question. Would anybody, anybody, would y'all like to make some pork chops? Listen, some simple pork chops. I just did tacos. Sausage and peppers. I did sausage and peppers yesterday. <laughs> pork chops, anybody? Okay, well, this person says stuffed pork chops. Anybody pork chops? Okay, hold on. All right, I'm reading if you see me doing this. <laughs> I'm reading. Okay, let's see. All right. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh-oh, somebody says, heck yes to the chops. <laughs> no to the chops. <laughs> oh. Stuff chops sounds good. Okay. Smothered. 
Smother takes a little while. And, and I did a smothered live with you guys already. You, you know I did. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Come on, Gina. You got to decide. You got you to gotta decide if the people can decide. Picadillo. All right. Gina, you decide. There's a lot of people that don't want to do. Um, let's see. You said, oh, I, I missed the whole message. You said you do a spam dish. How about that? <laughs> I don't feel like enough people like spam. You guys give spam a bad name. Not literally like you guys, but a lot of people give spam a bad name. Okay. Uh, broccoli. Um... I'm going to throw in, here's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to do the pork chops. Not on this one. But I will do the rice, the broccoli, the rice broccoli casserole. And in that casserole, you can put chicken in it. It does have cheese in it. So let's put that up. Broccoli rice casserole, okay? Excuse me, please. <coughs> okay. Roast is good. I know, but it takes so long. Sorry. All right, let's do this. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? You got to be ready. You can't be nothing but ready. All right. Community, what's on your mind? Well, I want to make a community post. Okay, so let me show discard. Let me show the person that's not sure how to get onto the community post, okay? So, hopefully you can see this. If you are on Gina Young's channel, for the person that's not sure, this is Gina Young's channel, right? You know that's what it looks like on your device. You would see home, you would see videos, you would see playlists, and right here, you would see community, all right? I see that color just went out, okay? And then you simply click on community right there at the top. When you click on it, let me make sure I'm on the right thing. Yeah. When you click on it, it takes you to something that looks like this. And then you'll see a poll that you can literally click on and click on whatever you would like to cook on Thursday. Okay. It's that simple. Okay. Now, oh, I got a question. I got a question because I just seen something that I think you guys would like to do. We can switch up two of the things. Would you guys like homemade hamburger helper or broccoli and rice? Which one can I switch out? Or you want me to keep it on broccoli and rice? Somebody say something. Somebody say something. Broccoli and rice, okay. Okay, keep broccoli and rice. All right, broccoli and rice. All right, all right, all right. Let's do it, let's do it. Y'all get to see me do it live, we're live. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. Here are the dishes that you can vote on for Thursday. Thursday, we will be doing a live cooking session. Now is the time to vote. Your vote counts. <laughs> Did that make sense? <laughs> okay, let me read it again. Hold on. 
Hello everyone. Here are the dishes that you can vote on for Thursday. Period. Hold on. Because then I say Thursday again. All right. Ooh. Thursday we will be doing a live cooking session. Now is the time to vote. <laughs> what? It don't sound right. Okay, hold on. Hello everyone. Here are the dishes that you can vote on for Thursday. Thursday, we will be doing a live cooking session. Now is your time to vote. Now is your time to vote. Vote on the dish that you want to be made, okay? Vote on the dish you would like to cook on Thursday. Your vote counts. All right, first option, salmon patties. Second option. Stuffed burgers. I gotta say cheeseburgers because some people will be like, what's, what do you mean? Cheeseburgers. Italian sub. Broccoli rice casserole. Okay. So listen, oh, gyro sounds so stinking good. Okay, hello everyone. Here are the dishes that you can vote on for Thursday. Okay, somebody tell me what Thursday's date is. I, I gotta put Thursday, I gotta put the time because people will say, you didn't put the time. Somebody tell me what date. Tell me what date and I'll say what time. September 1st. Okay. Um, Thursday, September. Thank y'all. Eastern Standard Time. I got to put that. All right. All right. Hello, everyone. Here are the dishes that you can vote on for Thursday. Thursday, September 1st, Eastern Standard Time. We will be doing a live cooking session. Now is the time to vote. Vote on a dish you would like to cook on Thursday. Boom. Okay, your vote counts. We got salmon patties, stuffed cheeseburgers, Italian sub, broccoli and rice. All right, let's post it. Now, the post is up. The post is up. You better go and vote right now. Vote right now because your vote counts. You hear me? Vote on what you want. Don't vote because you think I want something. And don't vote because everybody's voting on the same thing. Don't do that. Vote for what you would like to have cooked. What you would like to cook, okay? Let's do it. Go ahead. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's going nuts already. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. And there's one that didn't get no votes. <laughs> okay, well, let's see. Let's see what happens. Oh, my goodness. And now, listen, I have to tell you all something because you guys are so stinking funny. Um, uh, um, what was I going to say? Um, if you vote on something, you can't vote on something two times because... Uh, if you, you said August 31st, if you, um, vote on something and, and then you want to vote again on something else, you can't vote two times. So it'll take your vote off of the one and put your vote onto the other one. Okay. You see what I'm saying? I know people was trying to do that a couple weeks ago and they're like, can we vote on two? No, you can't. They'll let you vote on one. Okay. So now. If uh, Sonia and Ron, um, my amazing moderators, if they can, if they can um, put up time for 15 minutes, we'll keep the poll open for 15 minutes. Other people that are not in this chat right now won't know. They'll keep voting as the night goes by and they'll vote tomorrow. But we're going to keep it open for 15 minutes and then we'll decide. It's definitely going to be um, 6 p.m. on Thursday because most of you all, when you get home, it's probably late in the evening. If I do too early, you guys won't be home from work. All right, vote now. Your vote counts. Okay, we need 15 minutes. 8.15 is the cutoff time. 
Go ahead and vote. Your vote counts. So right now, I'm going to tell you what we got here. Salmon patties is at a whopping 24%. Stuffed cheeseburgers is at a whopping 24%. Italian sub is in at 19%. And broccoli rice casserole is at 32%. Okay, I've seen it change. We've seen ties. We've seen people at that last stinking minute change their vote. We've seen it all happen. So I can't wait to see what's going to happen here at 815. Okay, so we'll just see. <laughs> I voted. I voted. I see you, Penny and Sandria. Okay. Okay, so we'll see. We'll, we'll check the post here in a little bit. <laughs> Come on, sub sandwich. That's what Stephanie said. <laughs> okay, I voted. Oh, you voted for the stuffed burger? Okay. All right. Uh-oh, Latifah said, cook everything. <laughs> hamburger helper, the, ha the homemade hamburger helper, honestly, it is really good. It is really good. You know, it's not like the kind you buy in a box. I mean, it is good. <clears throat> okay, Tea Cake says, I voted for broccoli casserole. Okay, there's a lot of people. Okay, D said they voted for broccoli and rice. Tamikia voted for salmon. <laughs> oh, thank you, um, Larissa. Thank you. Salmon patties, come on then. <laughs> Let me see. He said, he said, you can plan a meal around it. Yeah, you can. You bet you can. Salmon croquette. The time, I seen somebody in here said, time is flying. It is, time is flying today. They all sound good to me too, yeah. I have something that I really would like for y'all to vote on, but I'm not going to tell y'all what it is because y'all will turn around and vote for what I want. But I really want you guys to vote for what you want. All the, he said, Derek said the stuffed burger is in running right now. Okay, let's see. I tell you what, that cake was so good. All right, salmon patties is in at 31%. Stuffed burgers, tw tw huh? <laughs> Ron said, you want Italian stuff? I'm not gonna tell y'all what it is. All right, salmon patties, 31%. Uh, stuffed cheeseburgers, 29%. Italian subs, 17%. Broccoli casserole, 23%. Okay, okay, so it's only 8.04, so, you know. Uh, it did change, right? Oh, you voted? Okay, you voted. Okay, Catherine says, I voted for the Italian sub. Oh, everybody's wanting something different. This is great. You know, I really enjoy doing this with you guys. I enjoy taking the time to vote. And I kind of like that I've been deciding what we're going to do on Saturdays. You know, just kind of surprise y'all like I did with the pound cake. And like I did with the other one. I can't remember what the other one was. I make so much stuff around here, you know. <laughs> Latifa, yeah, said I voted for everything. You can't. <laughs> what did Nate Dog say? Oh, my goodness. He said it's a joke. This is a great time of fellowship. It really is, Ron. Yes, it is. Thank you. Uh-oh. Jacqueline, Jacqueline says, come on, broccoli and rice. Uh-oh. So Jimmy said, salmon patties, go away. Susie Q said, you can easily make an Italian sub anytime. Everybody has, I, I love, everybody has their own opinion, and I love when you guys give your opinions, you know, on how you feel, what you want. <laughs> it's so much fun. The suspense, yeah, it, it kind of makes you smile, right? Really, it does. Okay, you voted for the salmon patties. I love salmon patties, but for, but not now for me. Oh, okay, Derek says he don't want them right now, though. 
Oh, meatball sub. That's a great one. You should have threw that out there. I would have put it on the list. <laughs> meatball sub, it would have been great. Can you fellowship with no mask? Well, I tell you what, we're online right now. So if we're online, we're not doing in person, you know. Stuff. Oh, he, somebody said, oh, yeah, meatballs would have been great. He said, you make a good meatball sandwich. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Salmon patties, 30%. Stuffed burgers, 31%. Oh my goodness. Italian sub, a whopping 16%. <laughs> Broccoli rice casserole, 23%. Okay. Okay. I haven't, I don't think I've done a meatball video in a while. Gina Gibson. Okay, Saj says that took me out. What did Gina Gibson say? Love a good Philly cheesesteak. I, I love a real Philly cheesesteak. Yeah, he did. He said it was good. <laughs> did y'all hear him when he came back in here? He said that cake was good. They both enjoyed it. I think my husband forgot we was gonna go riding in the car tonight. We have like this place where we like to ride and it's just beautiful. But normally if he says, hey, let's jump in the car and go, it's before it starts to get this dark out. So maybe he's not going to. Somebody says turkey wings. Now, um, I can definitely I can definitely do the turkey wings like, you know, on a regular video, because like I said, more than anything, it takes a long time for those turkey wings to get done. Red beans and rice. I just recently did a red beans and rice. You want... Uh, you want a recipe for broccoli soup? I have a recipe. Child, you better look, look on my channel. I have a recipe that is good. Listen, if you ever have Panera's um, broccoli and cheese, um, you would totally, if you like theirs, you would love mine's because I feel like mine's taste like theirs. Okay, let me look. Let me look and see what we got. Oh, how did I get on that? Where's the community post? All right, community. All right, let me tell you, let me tell you what's happening right about now. Have you made a quiche? You bet I have. Nick bones and rice, I could definitely make those. Um, we got broccoli and rice at a whopping 22%. Italian sub in at 16%. Stuffed cheeseburgers, 32%. Salmon patties, 30%. Okay. <laughs> Lorraine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, so it looks like we got five minutes and a chicken lovers. Oh, you know I love them. I love chicken lovers. Fried potatoes, salmon patties with biscuits. Yes, Lord, says T. Smith. Five more minutes. Uh, four salmon patties, okay. Yay, stuffed burgers is in the head. That's what Derek says. All right, Kimberly says cheeseburgers. Now, listen, if if um, this, this um, I, I see a lot of people in here are talking about the stuffed cheeseburgers. If that wins, I'm going to tell you guys the perfect cheese to put in the inside in, in my, um, when I post it. Um, so if you don't want the kind of cheese that I put in the community tab for you, I want you to get the kind of cheese that you would like, okay? But I'm going to get a cheese that's going to be creamy. I want a cheese that's going to be stringy when we cut that, you know, when we cut that cheeseburger open. So 
But like I said, if you don't like the cheese that I'm gonna be using, make sure to get the kind you like, okay? All right, salmon patties is in the running right now. A gyro would have been awesome. <laughs> Your grandbaby is watching. Oh, hi, grandbaby. Your grandbaby is watching. Tell them I said hello. Okay, so salmon is in at 32%. Cheeseburger is at 31%. Italian sub, 16. Broccoli and rice, 22. It does sound good. You know, everything sounds good this on here. Pepper Jack is your favorite. That would be a good one because it melts. It's got a little spice. It's going to give you a little bit of a cheesy pull, too. So, <laughs> all right, all right. Got three minutes. Three minutes. Anything can happen after it, anything can happen. Okay. Got three minutes. Dakota, Dakota, how about feta cheese? Okay, that's a great question. Why do you, okay, what, um, I, I, I missed the comment. There was a comment I wanted to read, but then I read another one. I'd have missed the comment, that going it. All right. Three minutes, anything can happen. Right now, people are going to the polls and they're switching their, they're switching it up. I know people are switching it up. People like to switch it up at the last minute to freak everybody out. <laughs> then everybody be screaming in the chat, no! <laughs> or some people are saying, yes! <laughs> okay. 249 people has already voted, which is great. All right, somebody even left me a message. Let's see. Tiki, hello. And they voted for salmon. Susie Q voted for salmon. And Tanya voted for salmon. <laughs> and Wanda voted for broccoli and rice. Okay. Yes, it's amazing. You know, this is something fun. You know, it keeps our brains working, gives us something to laugh at, gives the heart something to smile at and be joyful. You know, I, I, like I told you guys, I totally pray before we come on here. I pray that everyone is at peace during this live, that they're happy, that their mind is joyful, that you could take a break off of everything and just kind of sit back and enjoy Gina Young's live and have a good time. And even if you're not cooking, just sit down and chat with us and be yourself, you know? So I totally love this. And like I said, I pray over each and every one of us every time I'm getting ready to go live. Don't make Gina come through the phone, Christopher. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we got one minute left. Everybody be nice to everybody. I'm going to mess with you, pig feet. I don't know what that means. Love your live. Lisa, thank you. All right. He said, oh, Raymond said, please, cheeseburgers. Time is up. Time is up. All right. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Here I am. Boom. The poll has stopped. The people that um, are not in this live. They won't know that the poll has stopped. Salmon patties, 33. Oh my goodness, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> okay, here it is. Dakota, come here. This is nuts. Okay, salmon patties and stuffed cheeseburgers is, um, salmon patties, stuffed cheeseburgers is a tie. I, you guys know what you're doing. You're doing it on purpose, and everybody thinks it's funny. Another tie. All right, yeah, we got to do the spin. All right, we have an Italian sub in at 15, broccoli and rice casserole at 19. Okay, somebody saying no way, but if you guys can see it, let me see. You got a glare? Uh oh, there's a glare. But the two are at the top. They're both 32%. I hope you can see it. I don't know if you can, but it's there. 
All right, let me see it. All right, yeah. All right. All right. But now uh, the stuffed cheeseburgers is 34 because people went and voted after. So now I'm going to do, I'm going to spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. <laughs> Hold on, let me sign into my computer. This is totally nuts. All right, all right, let's go ahead and get the wheel up. The, hey, anything can happen. <laughs> Spin a wheel. Anything is liable to happen when you are live. Uh, K Coffee says, come on, broccoli. <laughs> All right, all right, so it is, let me see, salmon patties okay. and stuffed cheeseburgers. Christopher said, I am so anxious right now. You're anxious. I am, I am anxious. Oh, my goodness. This is just too much. <laughs> I know. Margaret says broccoli and cheese is comfort food. It is, but they didn't want it. <laughs> Salmon patties and stuffed cheeseburgers. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, um, I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, okay. Okay, I'll put the, I'll put the thing right here. And you guys can see where it stops on. So you know I'm not pulling any tricks. I'm not trying to pull any pull anybody's leg or any tricks. Okay. All right. Let me see. How do we? What is that? Just press the middle. Press the middle. Mm -hmm. where, where's my cursor? Don't press it yet. What the heck? All right. Okay. Let's do it. Ready? What is that? I can't see it, Dakota. Salmon patties. Salmon patties. <laughs> Salmon patties. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Salmon patties won. <laughs> All right, Paris. Christopher said I can't. Christopher said I can't breathe. <laughs> Guys, I, I guess fair and square. <laughs> That's so much fun. It really is. <laughs> Who else said that? Let me see. <laughs> Breathe, Christopher. <laughs> All right, so that's what it is. We're going to be making salmon patties, okay? So now, <laughs> V says, I want broccoli casserole. <laughs> Jimmy says, oh, no. Okay. Okay. All right, let me see. I need to. Hold on, I'm still here, I'm still with you. Still with you. Let me sign out all this stuff here. This is a bunch of stuff. Leave, okay. He did, he enjoyed the cake, my husband enjoyed. Oh, Derek said, I'm shocked. <laughs> Ron said, God is so faithful. Yes, he is, through anything. <laughs> God is amazing, you bet. All the time, all the time. Okay, so what we're going to be doing, this is going to be great. Hold on, guys, I need to blow my nose. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> blow my nose there. I thought I had a piece of hair in my nose. Okay, listen. So... There it is, <laughs> salmon. Now, this is going to happen on Thursday. Uh, we could be eating stuffed cheeseburgers, but look at what y'all did. <laughs> All right, 6 p.m. Thursday, salmon patties. And then on Saturday, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we're gonna be making um, a meatloaf meal. It's all gonna be live Gina Young style, okay? 
Uh oh, don't be hating. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I was just curious. The stuffed cheeseburger, I never had it before. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, that's so much fun. We have so many laughs. Does anybody know how long we've been on here? Four hours, 21 minutes. <laughs> Dakota just said that. Four hours, 21 minutes. <laughs> That's what he just sounded like, too. <laughs> Four hours, 21 minutes. <laughs> What's going with the patties? Okay. Um, I don't know. How about y'all throw out some ideas and we can figure this out together? Thank you, Kate Coffee. Thank you, Suzy Q. Oh, somebody says something really good, Teresa. Uh, thank you, Christopher. Christopher says Dakota is the best. Thank you. Okay, so we're getting some good ideas. I'm not gonna do sweet potatoes because we just did mashed sweet potatoes the other day, you know. Okay, so we got br Brussels sprouts. Flavored rice, I, I think, you know, I think flavored rice would be perfect. You know, like the rice a -ronis? Those rice a are delicious, right? Yellow rice, baked potato, somebody says fried corn, somebody says grits, mm. um, Jasmine rice, cream corn and rice. Let's try to come, let's, let, listen, let's try to make it, somebody says asparagus. So let's try to um, all come together and not make this hard. Uh, maybe we can do like a vegetable or do you just wanna do like a starch with it? I know, Karen. She says, ooh, grits, all right? Somebody says the dirty, the dirty rice that comes in a box, like the Uncle Ben's. Um, baked potato. Um, you you want me to choose? Okay. Um, how many? Um, how many of you like? How many of you like asparagus? Oh, V. Sanford says, how about everybody make the sides that they want? I love asparagus. Some people are saying me, no. Oh, here's what we'll do. Boom. I'm just going to, I'm just going to do it. Okay. Let's do a flavored rice, like a, like some type of rice aroni. You know, the kind that come in a box or come in a bag. You know, you just mix it up, cook that baby, and it always turn out perfect. Let's do that. So I'm going to put flavored rice. Hold on. All right. And then in the community tab, I'll specify which one I'm going to buy. But if you don't want to buy that or you just want plain rice, you do what you like, okay? But you're still making salmon with me, you know. Okay. So, and then for the vegetable, do y'all want asparagus for the vegetable? Broccoli and cheese casserole with it. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> All right, so we'll do asparagus. Now, there's some people in here that said, oh, I don't like asparagus. Make, if you like corn or you like broccoli or whatever, you go ahead and make what you like so you can enjoy it, okay? But you're still cooking everything else with us, okay? So what I got set in stone for Thursday, we're having salmon patties, Gina Young style. All right. No aspartame. <laughs> A lot of people call asparagus that. Okay. All right. Asparagus, flavored rice, which I'm most likely going to be using a rice aroni. Hi, Angela. How are you? Um, and asparagus. All right. 
Yes, 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 yes. Listen, it's going to be a big turnout. I like to wait for um, 6 o'clock p.m. because I feel like that's when most of you guys are at home and resting, you know, from a, a hard work day of work. Okay? This, these ingredients shouldn't cost a whole lot. The asparagus are not going to cost a lot. The flavored rice is not going to cost a lot. So you're going to get maybe one or two cans of salmon. And um, we're going to put like some onions and bell peppers. We'll probably put one potato, one potato into the salmon patties to make it nice and soft and delicious. Okay, but there's going to be some other ingredients that I'll put in the community tab. I'll be sure to post it so you guys see it and enough time to pick your ingredients up, okay? Can you guys give me a big old hug? Give me a big old hug. We're not gonna get off of here. Kathy works me to death on Miss Gina's Young's Asparagus. I mean, we love it. Oh, great. Hey, Ron, tell Kathy I said hello and give her a big old hug for me. Give me a big hug, guys. I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. I love y'all so, so, so much, and I thank you guys for being in my life. I love you guys. Y'all are my second family, and um, I'm so grateful. I'm still hugging you. I still got my hands up like this. I'm hugging you guys so much. Um, thank you guys for everything. Thank you for loving on me. Thank you for just, just blessing me. You guys are totally my family. You are totally my family, and I couldn't be more glad to know you all. And to get to know you all, I'm getting to know a lot of you. But um, if you haven't had a chance to put your put your um, face onto your, you know, your little thing, put your face on there. And so we don't see, like Rose here, Rose Dyer, um, like hers just has an R. Um, if you go to your Google account, it gives you the option to put your face in there. And that way I can um, see what you guys look like. Like I, I totally know what everybody looks like on here. You know, like Nicole, I can see her face right there. I can see Saj, what she looks like. So if that's something that you would like to do, I would love for you to do it. Because I can kind of um, like uh, picture what you like, see, see what you look like, uh, you know, when you message me. Okay, like... like um, Tiki, I can see her face right there, but then Ashley Williams, I just see an A, you know. So if you get a chance to do it, go ahead. Um, but I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. I'm gonna get off of here because me and my husband are gonna spend some time together tonight, and I don't wanna be too tired, you know. So, it's never ever goodbye. Thank you, Ron, I'll tell my husband and Dakota you said hello. It's never, 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 ever goodbye because you guys will see me again, okay? I love y'all from the bottom of my heart, okay? I want y'all to have a good night. Sit back and turn on Jeannie Young's playlist and just rock out on the playlist. Some people like to tell me they like to fall asleep to my videos, and I, I love that. <laughs> but thank you all. I love you all. We're going to get off of here Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going live. We're cooking salmon patties. Flavored rice and asparagus, okay? Saturday, we're making a meatloaf meal, Gina Young style, all right? And as always, God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. Good night. I love y'all.